All right. Hello. Hajime Mashtenchi. Let's get some new Zelda going. And the switch is starting to make noise. Is this going to only be a good thing? Oh! Oh, wow. It's sending me right into the starting sequence. So we got Zelda with a few dark nuts with axes. It's no. No, no, that's Link. Okay. Is the intro sequence or... Wait, I need to turn up the audio a little. Maybe. Yeah, but I can't really hear it. Wouldn't imagine that other people can hear it all that well either. Oh, it even starts you off as Link. That's fun. So B is always set to jump. Zio always to shield. Camera controls like this. Okay. And very normal sword attacks. This is notably not the Master Sword, seemingly. Okay, yeah. Swordsman's Blade. Sword with Y. Hold Y to charge up. It's just spin attack. I should probably close my window. <clears throat> Good luck to whoever's out there. Oh, well, the cat's in there. Can't do much. Oops. <clears throat> Let's turn up the audio a bit, man. Let's see. Thank you! I'm glad you like it. There is a fire truck outside, and the cat is in the window, so I can't close the window. How are you doing? It's good to see you again. Just want to... This is my audio input capture. Let's turn that up a bit. Should be fun, but it's coming straight from the Elgato. Yeah. <clears throat> in that case... It's up to 15 or so. Should be a bit better. Yeah, I, I'm hoping they announce the new Switch soon, because if you can hear that fan in the background, that's the sound of the Switch's cooling fan. It's not good. Hear myself a little bit. Let me just check out that audio input. Yeah, this is fine for me. Okay. Feels like it's been a bit different from other Switch tunes. Swordsman's Blade, yeah, not the Master Sword, but this is the Hylian Shield. Apparently, the lore integration of this game is actually pretty heavy. With older... Take your time. With earlier <clears throat> timeline stuff. Hold Zeal to ready your shield and block frontal attacks. Swordsman's Bow. Swordsman's Bow. What about a Bowman's Bow? Press X to fire an arrow. Hold X to charge up and, charge up and fire three at once. Swordsman's Bomb. Press A to create a bomb or hold A to charge one up and change it into a bomb chew. Well, that's fun. Okay, so this is presumably how swords, Swordsman mode is going to work once we get it. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you can just bomb chew it up. And is it going to detonate on its own? Maybe. Let's damage myself for fun. It goes for a while. Oh, the angle is legitimately very interesting. So actually, if we do it right here, we can blow ourselves up. Let's see. There you go. Okay, so bombs don't actually damage you. Interesting. And of course, we get the swordsman. We get the spin attack and piece of heart. Collect four maximum of hearts will increase. That's a very standard difficulty. Ah, and this is where we can switch it. You can change the game's difficulty anytime. Hero mode is for advanced players and there's certain adjustments like taking twice the damage. No hearts dropping. Also, some accessory effects won't be applied. Hopefully, they'll tell me. Mm -hmm. Play tips, single load, title screen. This looks pretty much identical to... Oh, there was even a target mode. Interesting. Yeah, this is very, very... Tears of King Breath of the Wild, honestly. Mm -hmm. Troll camera, overhead view. Ooh, okay. That's interesting. I like that. And I guess it'll just open up, so we'll get our, presumably based on the cutscene, intro Ganon fight. The only thing I've seen is trailers, which might not be truly blind then, but 
So the real question is how I'm going to get back here eventually, if I ever will. So I would honestly imagine this is going to be where the final Ganon fight is going to be, presumably. Okay, there are rocks blocking the way. This has to be the final dungeon. You got jumps as just part of your basic tool set, which is interesting. Get up here for seemingly no reason. Oh well. Oh, okay, this is incredibly, incredibly 3D Zelda because you can automatically circle while keeping them targeted. That's incredible, actually. How many hits are they going to take? Actually, pretty bulky. Interesting. Come on. Okay, so three, which means... I mean, four, which means two spin attacks should do it. Yeah, we can find any more of these. Can we see how bombs and bows fare against them? Either way, sword fighter mode, which is... The link transformation that Zelda will eventually get is a lot stronger. Than her normal abilities, meaning... Okay, so it does seem like we can just jump over their attacks, which is nice. If I had targeted, I bet that would have been even easier. So I was trying to frame it, and as you see, some of the hits just did not connect. Doors are locking behind us. This is very, very scripted tutorial. It is funny that... Uh, you could argue that if they had wanted, they could have easily pulled off a sort of... Oh! If you target, you can aim independently of the Y-axis. Well, that's very, very interesting. That creates a whole world of difference. Especially when you might get some trick-type echoes, sort of. Being able to aim at enemies this way is going to be really useful. Come on. There we go. And anything... No, that's just a slanted wall. I wonder if we could get anything in there, but... If they'd wanted to, they really could have done a sort of Metal Gear Solid 2 bait and switch. Faking you out and making you think that Link was going to be the protagonist. Given that this is basically what they did in Metal Gear Solid 2 with Snake's intro sequence before they switched to Raiden, which wasn't advertised at all. And the way it was advertised was crazy, because they actually gaslit the player base by editing Raiden into every snake into every situation that they showed from the later part of the game where you played as Raiden to make it seem like Snake would just be the protagonist and then the game comes out and lo and behold, after the intro sequence, it's Raiden all the way through. I need to play that game. But being able to actually shoot is really, really nice. This... It's blocked off here on magic we can go south from this room eventually? Maybe. Come on. Hmm, I wonder if we can kind of shotgun them. It doesn't seem like they can... Can they be hit by multiple if you shotgun them at close range? Let's see. Come on. Hmm, it does not seem like it to me, but either way, having a shield is really useful. Yeah, we can just keep charging up and shooting. That's fine. Actually, let's see what the bomb shoe does. And it does not home in. Okay. Let's wait until you stop moving. Let's see if I can... Okay. Well, it did go damage, as you would expect from bombs. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh, and you strafe when you're holding a bomb shoe. That makes some sense. Okay, we hear organ music. It's, and it's dark. Very malicey. It's got to be the intro Ganon fight. Yep! And there's Zelda. Soon enough we'll switch. And the real form of the game will take place. So, it's your game. Talkative of Ganon. That's very one for the past. Over the troublesome one. So, some people speculated, and I could see it being the case, that, well, depending on whether 
some of the changes they made to the original form of the timeline they put out are correct or not. Maybe this could be sort of the reason Link wanted to get back to Hyrule quickly after the Oracle games. Though to be fair, Zelda's in the Oracle games too. So unless she and I got back to Hyrule and got in trouble, he found out somehow it wouldn't make sense for him to hurry back. I don't know. Only this time your presence serves me. Okay, that's dumb. Now I'll end you both. Youch. <laughs> Go girl, give us nothing. And he throws off the cloak, which is why Zelda can pick it up. And oh, double-sided trident. Interesting. Okay. Oh my. Oh wow. You know, I wonder. Okay, four hits. If I died to him, I presume something similar would have happened. Okay. These are very standard attacks. Oh! You even got the orb tennis. Now that's exciting. So this is a real game and fight. Well, to the extent that an intro fight is going to be a real game and fight. Okay. This dodge is thrust. Come on. And more orb tennis. On hero mode, this is actually kind of tough. Another hit would just kill me outright. It's kind of crazy to think about. Well, we won the intro cannon fight, which presumably if we had lost, it just would have been. Game progressing is normal. And I might have restarted the fight. But we did it. Boss with two attacks goes down. And he turns into gas juice. Oh, okay. So maybe that's why I get a double ended trident, which I guess is a bit more like a battle axe. It's on business. Yay! Welcome back, Zelda, and goodbye, Link. Okay. Guess we have to move around it. Yep. We gotta wiggle the. Just gonna punch our way out of the crystal. Go with this. Okay. Here we go. Okay, and we can't hop in. Be funny if that just killed you. And yep, we go from 20 hearts to 3. Okay, so there is presumably try. Right on the cloak. I would imagine that Tri's gotta just be the Triforce of Courage itself, and if we try to go past it, we just auto move to it. We got the Swordsman's Cloak. Oh, so I guess Link isn't named? This is the hood cloak that the Swordsman in green dropped. It would almost completely cover your face if you wore it. Okay. Got a bit of light. Oh, okay. So do we have to run, or is it going to make us auto-move? Oh! Oh, okay. So we had to be moving, or...? Okay. <laughs> I didn't think it'd catch me that quick. Oops. Yep. So now we got to move, otherwise it'll restart things. Awesome, you just hold down. You can jump. Very cute. Alright. Okay, so now things are breaking down to make our escape. Please, we got the shadows and it's telegraphed enough that it's not like things are actually going to get in my way. I guess the question is if I got closer, would it slow down? It's often what happens with advancing wall time scenarios in games like these. Oh, well, all right then. And suddenly it's much, much closer. Let's get out of here. Where is this gonna take me? What part of Hyrule is this? That looks like Eastern Palace up there. Yeah, this is Southeast Hyrule. 
According to the link to the past map, slash link between worlds map, that's a very plain with Eastern Palace up there. Whoops. Sad Zelda. But at least it's daytime now. Okay, so that's Lake Hylia, you got Hyrule Castle. And the map is apparently much, much bigger than the Link to the Past map, even if it is plainly based on the Link to the Past map. Hmm. For one, they have like, their own separate death mountain, Tidal Drop, thank you. Hello, Hyrule Knights. Soldiers, I guess. Oh, yeah, because she's really a princess. Okay. Yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada. Mm -hmm. But the interest you could seem to start with her in a cell for some reason? So I don't know how that's gonna happen. Oops! And it doesn't stop there, huh? So... I seem scared of her for some reason. Let's talk to normal people. Princess Zelda, you're safe. What a relief. You're not injured, are you? You were sick with worry. A whole week is a long time to be missing. Just a week. It is interesting, because rarely, if ever, do they really put a time frame on how long a Zelda game lasts. Mm. I've been stolen away like all the others. The soldiers search for you every day. <laughs> Princess play with me. Oh, cute. So glad you're back, but now one of those icky whiffs opened up here, too. Not the ick. Yeah. Confirmed girl game. They mentioned the ick. Now that we've arrived, please allow me to welcome you back as well. I suggest you probably speak with the king. Oh. So, where can we go before that? How can we see this break? Sure, you'll be deeply relieved to hear that you've returned safe and sound. Hi. Hi, Roll Castle Town. Oh. Yep, they stop you. Princess Zelda, where are you Hi. off to? I insist that you make your way to the castle to speak with the king. Yeah. Can jump. So happy to have you back home, Princess Zelda. May I suggest you seek audience with the King of Hyrule? I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to hear that you have returned safely. Yeah. When I heard you were back, my sigh of relief could have knocked down the house. I'm so grateful you're alright, you should go rest up. Yeah. Now that you're back, I can scratch that worry off my ever-growing worry list. Although I'll never forgive that evil creature who took you. Ganon, he's staying on my resentment list. Glad you're safe, except it doesn't feel so safe in general lately, owing to that new rift in town. I've heard there are more monsters outside as well. Wonder when we'll see peace again. Hey. We're also happy to have you back, Princess. Everyone is worried you've been stolen away. Yeah. Just play with me, play with me. Is that all she can say? Oh. Just please don't ever go away again, okay? Well, we'll see. Can go inside the house. Bed. Oh, we can lift the pot. We can place it down, or we can break it. We'll be mean. Hello. Oh, well. oh, oh, oh. That's wonder so wonderful to see you safely home again. Lady Impa has been beside herself with worry ever since you were kidnapped. She's usually in the castle around this time. Please go let her know you're back for her sake. Oh, and she freaks! Okay. Oh, well, it makes sense, considering we broke her pottery. Got the dog. Or... No pet the dog option. It's surprising. One of those creepy rifts opened up in the middle of town. It's so dark and scary looking. What if, what if you fall in? What would happen? Don't think they'll let me do that just yet. My goodness, Princess Zelda, you've returned to us. What a relief. Been searching for you from sunri sunrise to sunset every day. I'm so glad you're back. Oh, we can even hop on the chair. Huh. Princess Zelda, you're back. Phew, I'm so relieved. I feel like I might kill right over. <laughs> Oh, and there was our first rupee. Nice, you got a rupee. That's nice. Yeah. So we're just gonna go break people's pottery. As one does. So we can't jump right on top of a 
bushes. I would imagine that we can get in that well. Like using an echo to hop into it ever since you were kidnapped a week ago. I've been incapable of getting even a wink of sleep, but now that you're back, I'll bet I'll be sleeping like a baby tonight. Welcome back, princess. You cannot pick up the bushes. Okay. What if we throw it at him? Oops. There's nothing to fear if you train regularly. I tell them myself that, so I stay motivated. Go down here. Bottom of the well. Oh. Yeah, Eck, Princess Zelda, me slug off. Never, I'm just hanging out in my favorite break area. Well. Dive. Okay, so we can stay underwater. Some of the underwater stamina. So that's what pops us out here. Okay. I imagine that eventually, maybe, there'll be a rift in the middle and we'll have to use the well to bypass it, maybe? More dog. Can we do anything with those butterflies? Anything here? Does it say anything? I'm so happy you're back. We were starting to think we'd never see you again. We search for you every single day, Princess Zelda. It's the guardhouse in here. We get to stay in a room in, our, in the castle ever since. Since our house is unusable at the moment, I'm so excited to see which room we get, I bet it'll be luxurious. Aww. Hey, can you at least try not to sound so excited? I mean, look at our place. Now get out of here, I know you're excited about it too. Well, okay, yeah, you got me, I am. And, okay, just box you. So Zelda, it's so good to see you safe, I'm sure everyone in the castle will be relieved too. Oh, please mind your footing near the rift, it just appeared, but it isn't growing at least. You know how it is with the rifts, when they show up, people get stolen away. Everyone in town is accounted for, but please do be mindful. Not for long. Splish Splash. That's cute, you can just hop around. Now that you're back, I can scratch that worry off my ever-growing worry list. Forgive. Okay, so they move back. Okay, so that's done what we've seen before. So everyone who greeted us has moved to other positions, it seems. Uh-huh. And you? Hey, Princess Zelda, welcome back. Do you see any rips in her back here? It was a real shock to see one crowd up here in town. I'm glad nobody got pulled into it. Oops. Oops. And you? When I heard you were back? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Seen that before? Ah, Hyrule Castle Town's shop, and there is butter. From home, Princess Zelda? You know the town has come back to life since you returned. Welcome to Browse, of course, but have you met with the king yet? Okay, so can't buy anything yet. Potion, apple, butter, and I... Looks like the power bracelet. Feel free to look around. Hang on, princess, is that you? Wow, what a princess. You got out of this serious situation like it was nothing. Nice. Uh -huh. So... What's she saying? We're all so happy to have you back, princess. Everyone was worried you'd been stolen away. Yeah, yeah. Now we can go to the king. Oh, we got all these sizes of bads. That's cute. Hi. Oh, it's Princess Zelda. Long time to see you. So, where have you been out doing princess stuff or something? Enough that there's no way to speak to Princess Zelda. So sorry, Princess. You know how kids can be. Sorry for being a kid. What do you have to say? Look okay, exhausted. I hope you're recovering all right. I wonder how many echoes we'll be able to find here. Hmm. This is... That monster who kidnapped you has got some nerve. I've made it my mission to take him down myself. I need to get training immediately, mind and body. I'll start with two whole sit-ups. Some baby blocks. So presumably that kid out here is... her daughter? Princess, please don't ever go away again, okay? Okay. So I guess that really is all she can say. Okay. Oh, the dog comes. Trapped by a no-gooder for a whole week? If anyone could find a way out of that, it's you. I told everyone they didn't need to worry. I'm getting so good at this whole flattery thing. Hmm. Just walk on. So it's very fully 3D. 
drop down from the table onto the stools and then the stools on the ground and this dog does not talk okay search everywhere for you so glad to see you safe and sound oh princess Zelda, i was so worried about you huh the king awaits you in the throne room so hyrule castle princess zelda please forgive me for not being there for you in your time of need as your loyal servant, I should have been able to find you. I promise I'll do better in the future. Hi. So good to have you back, Princess Zelda. I'm sure the king will be over the moon when he sees your face. I'm trying to wonder if this is similar to the length of the past Zelda music or not. Oh, okay, so it seems there some sort of proximity or side-based sound system determine whether they get alarmed by a pot being thrown or not. It's interesting. Uh-huh. But they were able to see that, so I guess now they're wondering whether it was an enemy or a pot. There's Impa. Ah, oh, sweet child. Such a relief to see you safe. Welcome home, princess. I must say your loyal Impa felt so flustered that I could not save you myself. On top of your kidnapping, rifts have been appearing all over. It's a source of much fear. I'm certain your return will be a great comfort to the people during these troubling times. You've always been quite spirited, though I didn't expect to make it back on your own. Well, I'm so overcome with emotion that I've spoken out of turn. I'll be go now, the king awaits you. In the meantime, I'll draw a nice hot bath for you to enjoy when you're ready. I'll be go now, the king awaits you. Bath, yeah, yeah. So this is actually open. And that... Hmm. Everyone at the castle was in the worst mood while you were gone, Princess Zelda. And now things are back to normal and spirits are lifted again, thank goodness. Hi. Oh, Princess Zelda, welcome home. I've kept a close on your room while you were gone. Oh, Zelda's room. And rest in the Zelda bed. Aww. It's a Zelda cat. Zelda cat. Zelda cat. So... One pot does not break another. Another rupee. Zelda horse. It's cute that she has a cat. Welcome home, Princess Zelda. Are you headed to the throne room? The king is waiting inside. It's my duty to guard the throne room. The king is just inside awaiting you. Oh? He looks largely like the king in Wind Waker. Who is the girl on the right? Oh, General Wright. I wonder what his name is in the Japanese. Princess, I'm so relieved you're back. Loudly. Minister, okay, right and left. Minister left. Oh, Princess, what an absolute joy to see you safe and well. This is Migi and Hitari then. Despite that joy, I feel ashamed that we were unable to find you. On behalf of Minister Left and me, please accept our apologies, Princess. King of Hyrule, General Right, Minister Left. I appreciate your sentiments, but let's not dull this joyous moment with our regrets. Zelda, my dear daughter, you did well to return to us. Come closer so I may look upon you. See that, Bond? Ah, I'm so relieved you are healthy and whole and well. So tell us, Zelda, what happened to you. Swordsman in green saved you from a fell beast, quite the tale. But after defeating the monster, the swordsman was taken by a rift. It's him we have to thank for saving your life. <laughs> so he was pulled into a rift, another one stolen away. Indeed, I hope he is safe. Stolen away, a tiny phrase for a terrible fate being taken by a rift. An unsettling phenomenon. Where Fair Hyrule has continually been plagued with these rifts and disappearances. As you know, rifts have been appearing for a long time, claiming our young ones. Indeed, so many children have been stolen away. We've remained vigilant. But despite our best efforts, we've never been able to prevent the rifts from appearing. Ultimately, those who've experienced losses have been left to contend with their grief. I've been receiving reports about people disappearing from every corner of Hyrule. And that isn't just children anymore, adults are disappearing too. What could be causing such an uptick? For now, we should also work on finding the swordsman in the green tunic and with his. Huh. Your Majesty? Rift? Huh. What is it, soldier? Huh. Urgent news! The rifts are causing serious trouble. 
Oh no. Police soldier, what are the details? Of course, your majesty. Oh. Random people. Woman with glasses. Oh, okay, so this is how monsters start to manifest. What question is whether they'll keep that purple or. There's no way there's just a native monster population, too. Personally, we received word that someone from the southern village was swallowed up by a rift. And we also received news of dark monsters attacking people in Hyrule Field. Interesting that they're retroactively defining a Hyrule Field in pre ocarina of Time games, and that is troubling news indeed. Thank you for your report, soldier. Tell the rest of your battalion to prepare for departure immediately. Yes, your majesty. General Minister. Sir. There's left continual investigations into the rift phenomenon. I'm expecting to find a way to save any and all who have vanished into the rifts. You can count on me, sir. General Rhino, we have the monsters to prepare your troops and head into battle. I honor, sire. This crisis must be dealt with. Continue looking into the rifts and we'll get those who've been lost. Oops. Too late. Thank you! And they go in and therefore get eaten too because they're too dumb to live in. It's the first time we see them getting grayed out, it seems. Wah wah. And. Uh, oh, they got turned into dark mode. Evil king, evil minister, hmm. evil general. Guards? Question mark. See Zelda. Lock her up immediately. So that's how that happens. Oops. Well, I got the princess. My daughter created a rift you see behind me. We cannot leave such horrible power unchecked. Oops. Disturbing though it may be, General Wright and Mr. Left were witnesses well. I guess they have some sort of hive mind now. Guys, the abyss. Well, don't just stand there and lock her up at once. Yes, your majesty. Oops. They're just moving aggressively in her direction. It's not like she got restrained. Weak. Now we're in jail. Uh -huh. Why did we lock up the princess? What could the king be thinking? You haven't heard? Apparently she's the one who created the rift in the throne room. Well, there's no way. It wouldn't even make sense. And that, So then she might also be responsible for all the other rifts. Yeah, they'll just keep popping up so long as she's around. Oh, execution. Yeah, there's even word the king plans on putting her to death to save the kingdom. Oh, wow, so... I was wondering whether there'd be a child sacrifice plot with all this kidnapping. It's probably. Uh. I just can't believe the princess would be the cause of these things. Well, then. So when are we going to run into try? Clearly we can jump up and over. Oh? Huh? Wait. Could have just jumped out, right? Yeah. So there's Try. Basically, once you give up and go on the stone bed. Oh? Goofy little thing? You can see me. My name's Try. That blue monster, he caught me too. I've been watching you since then. Some cannon? Did you say there's no name drop? I followed you here to this castle. Oh yeah, I should ask, what's your name? Zelda. Zelda, got it. Zelda, your life is in danger if you stay here. The person who put you here is the king, right? He told someone to hurry and prepare for your execution. Once I heard that, I figured I'd better tell you. The king and the other two got pulled into that rift. The three that came out seemed weird. Oh, you notice they seem weird too? You think they're imposters, sus. What an odd word. Anyway, it's too dangerous for you to stay here. I think we could, if we could save the people who've been taken into rifts, we could reveal the truth. But none of those people will be able to get out on their own. We have to save them together, Zelda. But first, let's save you. Let's get you out of here. And... When are we going to get a rod? 
Come on. Can't get through the bars? Well, yes. Oh, that's interesting. Let me help. Time for our ability. I turn myself into a stick, Zelda. But actually... <laughs> oh, okay, you just can't get up over there unless you have a table anyway. Okay. So you can't just get out like this. Well, I've made something to help you. Ooh. Okay, so you can't just walk and do it. You have to check it. Okay. Come on. There we go! Borrowed the tri- Borrowed. It's a mysterious rod. The same color as tri. It's warm to the touch. White is yellow, then yellow, then green at the bottom. Warm. I can create echoes of things in this world. I'm not sure what will be most useful to you, but I'm sure this will come in handy. Go up to something that's shimmering, then press ZR. Alright. Learn. There we go! Table! You learned the table echo. Good job, that's how you learn things. Anything you've learned can be echoed with Y. Yay! Look at that, perfect job. You can see it with a sort of a shimmering, scaly pattern. What you created is called an echo. Press ZR when you're near an echo to erase it. If you want to erase all of your echoes, hold ZR. Things learned using ZR can be echoed with Y. The number of things you can echo depends on how much Tri's power upside down triangle is available. Echoes can be erased using ZR to erase all echoes, press and hold ZR. Okay. See, each of the triangles goes in. Can't do that now. Actually, it moves in between. And the one that's going to get erased next is highlighted. Okay. Hold it up and... Okay, so once you've got that, keep moving around, but you can also cancel. It's actually rather convenient. I like that. Race, just a jump, anyway, and then... Not like that. Ah, gravity effect. Yeah, we can jump out. There we go, cool. Nice. Have that back. Puzzle sound effect. Now we can escape. Let's go. What if we go the other way? Will they just lock us back up? Yeah, probably. Hi. I've got you. Oops. Wah, wah. How did you manage to get out? Well, whatever. You're on the king's order, so please stay put. Don't cause any trouble. We're gonna kill you. Oops. Okay. Let's get back up. Thank you. There's a run button, isn't there? Oh, you can target the table. Okay. Oh, you can push it, actually. Eee, okay. I just want to see, what if I put tables in their way? Well, we can't get out through that door one way or the other, so no point in trying it. Okay. Stealth mission. Nice. Clearly you get up and around him. Maybe we could just block him off. That'd be fun, too. Can they vault tables? Hi. Oops, I've got you. What would happen if this made a choke point to vent him from coming back? And oh my goodness, they're fast too. It's nasty. Oh, we can vault. I wonder if they can vault in their heavy armor. Oh, my goodness. They can get over that. Which also means, since we can only make three, we could never make a wall that could actually hold them back. So plainly, the easiest way to do this is to make a staircase that get up and over. If we drop a table on you. We can't do that. <laughs> oh, well. So all of them are highlighted until we learned it. Okay. Right, Echo, you were you learned the wooden box echo. A large wooden box made of planks that is light enough to float on water. Small low table strong enough for a person to stand on. That basically subs for two tables stacked. So you can see Echo's Evorn by holding down. 
Holding down right, holding down A, yeah. And there we can select with R and then release A to swap out the selection. Guess you could play this with a single sideways joy on then. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no, they meant directional. Okay. C is last one cost type. There's no manual sort. Which is annoying. The items try on you this mystical rod. With its power, you can echo things you've learned. No pieces of heart. Okay. Should still be a hero. Oh, yeah. Okay. You lift it. Tossing it does break. What if we toss it? You. Yeah. I've got you. If we made a wooden box, could we. No, not like that. Oh, come on. Uh. Wooden box. Okay. This is honestly a little clumsy. Come on. Pick that up and we toss this at you. Not if the directions work like that. Oops. Ah. Uh. I just want to bonk you with a crate. I see. That does nothing. Okay. Hmm. Use that to make a bit more convenient of a staircase. Hmm. Okay. Not like that. Come on. But that does work quite well. Nice. Some rats. Uh, okay. Oops. Okay, so breaking the crates. So that's why their audio. Their hearing is notable. It's something we need to pay attention to. Crate breaks, let's tell. It also means. Can't pick that up. Box that we could get them to move towards the site where it was thrown. Oh, uh, okay. Let's see just what we can do with this. That's nice. Oh, but is it's not investigating the echoes, it seems. It's moving over there. If you really wanted to, you could use this to sort of force move them. Simple enough. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Once you see me. Oh, my goodness. And they're too fast to run away from. That's interesting. I think I've got the hang of this. It is definitely a little clumsy, but that's also a very plain with a point. <laughs> I got on top of there, actually. That might be the move. Okay. So, I... Uh, that almost worked. We were almost able to make him unable to reach us. Okay. I did not mean to do that. I should have cancelled it first. Come on. This... It's real cool. It's very, very new. Okay. There we go. That's nice and gone. The box down. Table down. Just get across. The relative impunity. Can't get up here. Mm -hmm. Let's box our way across. Question then is... Can I get up here? If I put down another... Box will... No, not like that. Oops. Uh, 
my case, might not be able. Or, yeah, that's not happening. I can see that, but it only means so much. Mm -mm. That's all that. Come on. Mm -mm. <sighs> yeah, that's not doing it. But, eventually they'll give up, it seems. That's silly. That's fine. And so the other day I broke a pot to test if you were in general right came running. Okay, so this is how. Basically, to distract and using sound. I'm sure he gave you an earful about it. Actually, no, I threw the pot kind of far and he ran to where he heard it break, huh? General Wright is a simple man. Okay, so here's our pot echo for purpose of noise making, it seems. Okay. Let's learn that. And we're in the Hyrule Castle Pot Echo. Hyrule Castle Pot. An elegant pot from Hyrule Castle. Currently made the full up in great effort. Okay. They're gonna ladder up there. Not smart enough to use the ladder, it seems. Fine by me. Hmm. Starts up on that patrol path. Interesting. Let's try to get down there. That did not work. Okay. Oh, I've got you. Is that gonna start me? At least it's not all the way back. Okay. Well, I did not mean to do it like that. We we're able to successfully distract him. Okay. Interesting. How about getting them away from those choke points? Simple enough, and a statue. Does not seem to do anything though. It does look like a god statue. Can't copy those big pots. Ah, hello. Princess. Princess. I'm so glad to see you're safe. You're not hurt, are you? I can't even imagine what His Majesty is thinking. Claiming that you created that rift, it's preposterous. Oh, the King General and Minister all imposters. Sus. And your friend Tri made you a Tri Rod, was it? I see. Zelda can make use of the Rod's power. What are you looking at? For my Tri-B now, you're here all on your own. Oh, so only we can see you Tri, right. Okay. Vote, vote. It's got it. It's very obvious that Triforce related. So the question is whether it's courage or wisdom. This like green tinge makes me think maybe courage. It's got a blue, so maybe it's both. I think you're the only one who can see me, Zelda. Oh, interesting. The world is truly a mysterious place. Well, come up, may I always support you, princess, no matter what mysteries unfold. You better not dally. The phony king is speaking of speaking of executing you. We need to leave and quickly. You'll stand out in your current attire. Something brought something for you to change into that cloak. Oh, what is that blue fabric sticking out from your pocket there? Uh, I see it's the cloak the swordsman was wearing. Size seems workable. It will do a fine job of shrouding you. Quickly now before we're spotted. Oh? Oh, that's cute. She goes behind the statue to change. Ah, <laughs> okay. There we go. Well, she really just put the cloak on. You got a disguise. It's light and flowy and conceals your identity nicely. It smells like a musty dresser. Spin around quickly by pressing R. Oh. Uh -huh. Should be able to head along now without worry. Princess is missing. Find her. Whoops. Oh, but they don't recognize us, do they? I think it seems we have company. Give this to me. So is this an Impa who can fight? Yeah. Lady Impa, who is that over there? It isn't the princess, is it? If it is, you must stand aside this instant. Oh. Stand aside. Mm -hmm. No, I don't believe I'll be doing that. Okay, yeah. Another ninja Impa. Oh, okay, so that's the first time we saw her back. So we could see the Sheikah eye. Okay. 
Eh, so that's why they were so insistent on her. Okay, here, Princess, take this with you. See, girl, I did try talking to her from behind before, so maybe we could have seen that. You received a log. This log was given, you to by, given to you by input. There was a folded map inside. Interesting. Make your way to the house marked with the dot. Tell them Ipa sent you, they'll surely help you. The desert, there's Death Mountain. Zora's River up there. Should be the eastern palace south of that. Wonder what happened if I try to go back to where the game started. To what is presumably Ganon's castle? Uh huh. This way. More of them ahead will find a shortcut that leads out of the castle. Use it to make your escape. Yeah. Right now, Princess, we will see each other later. Okay. The Mysterious Rifts. Sination open log. Imposter versions of the King, General, and Minister came from the Rift. The Imposter King claims that you are responsible for creating rifts, escape from the castle through the passageways, and head towards the dot map marked on the map. Okay. Hmm. Is this like Haya? It's awfully like it. The map is supposed to be meaningfully bigger than Link to the Past, so I'm wondering if this is actually all of it or. Well, who knows? Let's copy this tree. You are in the decorative shrub echo. An ornamental plant hard enough to support a push person on its bushy leaves. Okay. Can walk on here. Don't imagine we can go back through. Yep. Maybe. Yep, you hear a lot of noises coming from beyond the stairs. Sun of Eve. Yep. Yep. Also. Let's see. One, two, three. Yep. One, two. Yep. You move meaningfully faster by just spamming the spin. Yep. It's like rolls and. Just give him more jump distance, too. I wonder. Let's see. Mm. It. I can't tell. Go on that line. It seems you actually get slightly more distance from a jump with a spin. It's interesting. It's very, very slight, but it is there. So very plainly, we need to use some of the plants to get across. Okay. Makes sense. It's on the same level as the others, which makes it nice and easy. Okay. So we're out of here. Oh, and here's our bed echo. You are the old bed, old bed echo. This bed is a bit worn out, but you'll still get sleepy if you lie down on it. And rest, which eventually means recovering hearts if we miss any. So in that sense, you see some bed stacked up there to hint at the fact that, well, bed stacking is a good way to get places. Hmm. Let's try some of that out. Old bed. Stack up the beds. Hmm. Not like that. Oh, but we're not touching that, so. Racing its top. Hmm. Huh. Start from over here then. I want to break that pot. Thank you. Thank you. Take that. And there was all of nothing inside. Well, okay. Take that back. Nothing inside there. Okay. Let's do a bit of bed bridging. Let's see, and it maps very directly onto the grid. Which is def oh, and they break. Very important for making sure things are workable. So we've escaped. The sanctuary's up here. 
So I wonder... That's going to be a way back into the castle, or... Oh, you can actually break grass with a spin. Okay. Even if you can't actually damage enemies. I wonder if it knocks back enemies, though. Seems a bit more possible. Could use these beds to get back up in here. And just start a bit further away, though. Not that I have any real need, but... I'll do it. Yeah, just like that. Go up here. Yeah. Switch to a table. I wonder if I could get over that fence. I bet I could. Let's just see. Hmm. If I break that down. For that, I did not mean to do that. Great. Table. Can we jump the fence? It appears to just be impassable, which... Fair enough. And it makes him move faster, too. Get down into this well. Ah, Royal Family Shortcut. This is an introduction to... Swimming mechanics. Oh, you can see that float. Nice. Get back out. Okay, so table time. This would jump up half a block. That's... You earned the boulder echo. A hard rock that's very heavy, but you can move it if you really push. Hmm. Wonder what that'll be good for. If anything. Collect a couple of rupees. Jump on that and... Wooden box or way across. Good thing they float. Fair a lot of things do. Very plainly, we can use the boulder to weigh it down. Nice. Good puzzle solving me. Oh, okay. Well, we can fit our way through. Very slightly. And there we are, out of the shortcut. Hello. Anything through here, or... Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Oh, you can actually go back down in, but okay, the crates block us, at least right now. Imagine a combat echo might be able to break those. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's not a particularly viable route. As soon as we go in... Can't be able to go into rifts. I bet we could try that. Maybe see if we could go straight to the final boss. Zelda seems very fond of letting you do that these days. Another rift. Rifts have appeared occasionally for a very long time, mending them is our job. Except my power alone isn't enough to take care of a large rift like this one. Let's get away from it for now. Hmm. So I wonder what sort of plot coupons we'll need to collect, actually. Inside here- Oh, look! We gotta run again. Seem fond of this tactic. Oh, uh, okay, waterfall. Oops! It's gonna be the sanctuary? Where is this going to send us? It's some kind of beach. Okay, so there's our bonking rock. We can throw at things. I'm gonna want to fight that way, honestly. You're awake? Good, let's go. <sighs> Mysterious Rift's quest update. You ended up in a small cave after being swept away in an underground waterway. Head towards the dot marked on the map. And... You got... You were in the rock echo. An ordinary rock that might be found anywhere. Good for throwing. Boom. You can even jump on it. Can't really get back through here. Let's try a rock echo. What I wonder is... Okay, we can't immediately pick it up. But, it's a nice demonstration of the fact that you can break 
things with a rock. Cool. You can basically do this in Elden Ring too. Throwing round rocks. This is... Where are we? Maybe that map thingy that person gave you can help us figure it out. Press minus to open the map. Your current location is indicated with Zelda head. Ah, Southern Beach. So, put us in a place that is plainly not in Link to the Past. This is Gerudo Desert, though. I believe, though, to be fair, it's just a normal desert in Link to the Past. Oh, we got a Zol. Oh, a monster. Hello. I noticed you. Zelda, can you fight monsters? Not really. A rod won't do much. Ah, uh, yep, no damage. Not even... Oh yeah, I can. There we go. And we got the Zol Echo. You weren't the Zol Echo. A weak gelatinous monster that moves slowly by expanding and contracting. Let's try that. Did you want to echo that monster? Defeating new monsters leaves a shimmer, which allows you to learn about them like you just did. Monsters learned with ZR can be echoed with Y. You can direct your echoes to attack specific targets by using target with ZL. Holy crap. Spirit Ash playthrough. We can even lift? Oh, that's fun. Okay, fight. Oh, nice. I... This is interesting. Fun as it is... A fight with my Pokemon. I like tossing rocks. <laughs> Especially since... <sighs> positioning. But actually, if you... Target, it becomes that much easier. Okay. Fish! Hmm. Seems to be a bit of desert. Where can we go? Seems to be the lower one of the map, which isn't exactly shown here. You have successfully washed ashore. Oh, interesting. Wonder if I could lure any of those urchins on shore. Because if so, get them as an echo. And those are interesting options. So one rock breaks another. Okay. Huh. But I. I am more inclined to toss rocks. For better or worse. Come on. Toss. Rock. Toss. Yeah, if you can lock on. There's no reason to not to just use rocks. Okay. Guess my question is, can I... Can't break that with a spin. It seems that the echo boulders are a bit more durable. Marginally. Well, to be fair, the crates could be broken by the other rocks without being permanently disappeared. Mm -hmm. See, and oh well, does not damage you much. Blue rupee, or five rupees? Yep, blue. Neat. Hmm, so I'm wondering what I could do to... Can I knock a fish out? I wanna see. Fish seems to have gone away. That's my question. Could I just... Take out a fish? Let's get a fish echo and use that to get the urchin echo. Those could be useful just as throwable. Items. Hmm, something seems to be in there. Ah, so the ones on top of each other prevent that. Okay. Oh, okay, so. One of these up. That urchin echo. There we go. And that's. One of the sea urchin echo. An unmoving aquatic monster with hard spines that can pierce metal. Hmm. Let's try that. It does not hurt me. Can we pick it up? 
cannot pick it up or move it, it seems. Well, that is interesting. So I guess we just have to use it for area denial. Makes some sense. Let's see. Okay. Oh, you can put them down. It's basically close range weapon thing. Oh, that's very interesting. It's very deliberately clunky, but I like that. Bit of a trapper's playstyle. Hmm. This makes you think. I like that. I feel like beds are gonna have to be used here. Yeah, if you put a crate down and then have to be the other way though. Oh, messed up a bit with that. Crate down, I mean the box. There's a table. Put a bed here. Use the bed. Should have done that in a different order though. Yeah. That got screwed up. Hmm. Yeah, we need to put the desk down first. I mean the table. Table. Wooden box. Now we can get started on bed stuff. Bed. Now we can get up top and open this chest. And that's... Okay, red rupee 20. You got 10, 20 rupees. Excellent. Cool. Now well, we got a silly melee play style. Sea urchin play style. What I want to see is... Put this down. Oh. Yep, they will mutually annihilate. That's fun. Nice. Let's get a couple of rupees from that. And make our way over. But some dropping sea urchins on an enemy. It's a good thing that they don't damage me. That could have been an interesting risk versus reward proposition, but I'm okay with that. Okay with not being damaged. Hmm, I wonder if I could get that piece of heart right now. I bet I could. If I... Surface... Like a table. Oh, it was that easy. I didn't even need to put a crate down. Got a piece of heart, collect four, and your maximum number of hearts will increase. Hmm. Nothing seems to be up there. At least right now. Got more... Sea urchins. Okay. Keep dropping. But not like that. Drop. Drop. Okay. Fun. Damage each other. So it is a mutual annihilation kind of thing. Nothing seems to be in here, even though we can go in. Actually, I guess the rocks are broken down there. And I would imagine that this is a bad situation. Okay. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Bed. Cool. And what do you know? Time for more sea urchins. Thank you. Nice. Spin. Or, of course, we can just toss these. That's also true. And they don't break it, but... Other oh, boulders very much do. Okay. Come on. There we are. So what is this? Beach cave. Go down more quickly, but just jump in. And I... Clearly, this is going to be a rock situation. So, range versus... I. Okay. Come on. Where are you? I... Uh... Ooh. So, it hit the rock, and now... Ah. Wax range. Get you on, on the ground, and... Cannot... Oh, wow. Okay. 
That's can't jump. But we can interrupt your charge. Ah, and we can get the keys shimmer. Nice. You're in the keys echo. Monster resembling a bat, though not actually a bat. If you hold it one or and step off a ledge, you can glide a bit. That's fun. Pick it up. Okay, we can't jump with it. Interesting. Let's see if we can just rest in the bed. Yeah. Huh? Okay, there we go. Yeah, hero mode my ass. Hmm. So what can we drop? Presumably with a bit of momentum, a rock would break this. Let's see. We have multiple. I bet a boulder would go all the way through. Well, we did it anyway. So, got a piece of heart, collect for your maximum number of hearts would increase. Okay. Legend of Zelda Echoes of Rock. Come on. And we got both. This is great. So, we're out of the beach cave in the southern prairie. Which, I guess is close to that house. Could I? It's a heart shaped pond. Do you wonder where the rift again in the rift is? If they let me, I'd be more than happy to try fighting Ganon just right now. Though, given that this is an older style of Zelda, I honestly don't imagine they just let me. Hmm. It's terrible. It's terrible, this discussion. This is... Oh, purple. You got 50 rupees? That makes you really happy. Speak for yourself. Hmm. Hang on top here. Could we fall down the chimney? That'd be funny. Let's lift. A bit of hang time. And... We can't fall down there. Oh, they're afraid of the monster. Okay. Hey, nice. That's one. Really is no point to cutting grass. If, one, we can't get hearts from it, and two, we can get hearts back. We can get hearts back easily anyway by just resting in a bed. Can I get on top of these trees? But again, it's. Not much of a point in it. Clearly got the walls hedging you in here. Hmm. Hello, random man. It's Princess Zelda. Welcome to Southern Village. It's usually nice and quiet here, but now things are terrible. If only Link were here, what happened? Rift appeared north of here, and it grew so fast that one of us got caught inside. It's worse, we can't even run to Hyrule for help. The Rift is blocking the way there. If only Link were here, who's Link? Link is a young fellow from this village, so this is Link's village here. I guess this is sort of around where Link's house at Link to the Past was. He's better with a sword than anyone. He helps with lots of problems, monsters, weeds, you name it. But he's gone off on a journey right when we need him. How curious that Link wears a cloak like yours. Oh, Link, I hope you're alright. When Link were here. Talk to you later. Please, you stay safe out there. And in your house... Oh, we can get Meat Echo. Nice. You earned the Meat Echo. A large chunk of bone and meat that has been roasted to glistening. Its dripping juices entice certain monsters. Mostly trash. Okay. So. Continue spinning. Oh, boil. Okay. This is. Oh, trampoline. A rift slot up one of my neighbors. There must be something we can do besides pacing. Dive. Anything down here? It's not look like it. It's nice little you check. Okay. Already more than Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, then. Okay. This is a oh, pot echo. You are in the normal pot echo. A simple pot of a common type versus Hyrule Castle pot. 
It's big enough. It is big enough for a person to fit inside. Wait. Oh, that's cute. And stealth this. That's really funny. I wonder if we can do that with Hyrule Castle Plot. And we can't. Interesting. These are pots that we can break through and hide in. You got floral nectar. This item can be used for a couple of hearts, but it's more effective when mixed into a drink. One floral nectar. Oh, an apple. Okay, so that's the items we saw in the shop earlier. Got, you got an electro apple. This item can be used for a couple of hearts, but is more effective when mixed into a drink. Okay. We can look in our items. A juicy apple with a slight electric tingle and used in a drink. It grants a drinker resistance to electricity. This is very new Zelda. Sweet nectar with a floral scent when used in a drink. It boosts the effects of other ingredients. I'm pretty upset around here. One of us villagers has been caught in a rift. We can't escape either. The forest nearby is cr crawling with monsters. So I guess that suggests a different option for getting to the castle. Other than presumably the dungeon. Okay. Other kid. The rift nearby is huge and it's terrifying being so close to our village. Could be in Southern Forest too. A strange old man lives there. I hope he's okay. So maybe the boss will fight will be possessed individuals. Yeah. I got a trampoline. What a great gift. You can play with it too. That's fun. Get more height from that. A lot of tools early on. You learned the trampoline echo. It's a children's toy of springy cloth on a wooden frame. Let's you jump higher than usual if you hop onto it. Hmm. I wonder what's in that well. Well. We'll see. Anything behind here? Not that I see. This is... Nothing of no. Let's get another rock. Break their pots. Okay. Yeah, nothing seems to be in here. So what if I hopped down that well? And that doesn't seem to go anywhere, but what if I... Made the trampoline. And jump over there. Get inside of here, though that does not do much for me. Rift is right over there. That gonna stop me, doesn't seem like it. Can look at it, Southern Prairie, Southern Forest. Learn that. And learn the sign echo. Simple sign made of wooden planks, these stand all over Hyrule. So what can I do with the sign echo? And the writing is on the other side. You could probably use this as a shield, but only once. That's funny. Okay. Hmm. So they disappear when you talk to somebody. Oh, we can buy a piece of heart. Southern Village Shop. Yeah. Welcome. Potion Suites will find a tasty selection here at the Southern Shop. Come on in, take a look. Yeah. How can I help you? I'd like to sell. Oh. Sell these for a pittance. Ah. Stop yeah. by again. I'd like to chat. <laughs> what do you think of my stock? Potion sweets, all they eat for adventure. Yeah. Well, thanks. Uh. Just let me know if you need me. Check. Hey. Red potion. This potion is an ancient formula that has been used throughout history to restore health. Trust your potion interested. I'm just browsing. Mm. Oh, okay. Nothing here. More nectar, uh huh, you have a great eye. That there is full of nectar, you can buy in bulk if you like. Never mind, okay. Let's see, and. Oh, well, we have enough already. It's a piece of heart, but valuable, yes, we've only got the one in stock, I'll buy it. And this should be our third. Got a piece of heart, collect four, your maximum number of hearts will increase. Thank you for your patronage. So I wonder if you'll ever get a fourth item. Or if it's just because it's a generic shop interior that's been used. Some story progress is definitely necessary for that. And let's see what's in the well. Bottom of the well. There are lots of bottoms of wells around here. Let's break some pots. Anything else? I wonder if that's a piece of heart. Oh, we got a, some kind of grapes. 
You got refreshing grapes. This is unconvenient for your hearts, but is more effective when mixing to a drink. Yada yada. And that grapes with a rich fragrance and a strong flavor. When used in a drink, they boost the healing effect of the drinker, which is why they store more at base, it seems. And this. Okay, just nectar, no piece of heart. You got five jars of floral nectar. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'll really be making use of any of the juices or smoothies, but. That is our reward. So, one of those grapes would come back if we went back down, or if it's a one time drop or something. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Can we go into the rift now? I wouldn't imagine. Hi. Hey, Sean, if you can hear me. Oh? Huh, who are you? No, no, it doesn't matter. Can you please, please help us? Uh, hey, that cloak looks a lot like a lynx, or those cloaks trendy right now or something. Heck, what am I doing? There's no time for idle banter. My wife got swallowed up by the rift. Unpleasant. Wife, can you hear me? I'm right here. Guess not. Okay. And we cannot go in yet. So I wonder if we'll just have to go around it for now. That sounds about right, honestly. And we can break the poor sign. Sad. So can we echo this or gain power? Hey Zelda, how about look at this? Do I have to? It's not slaving word. Check. And that. Oh, it's like a beacon. No, it's teleport waypoint. Gotcha. This waypoint is having recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Nice. Alright, it lit up. These are waypoints we use these a lot. Rifts can appear all over the place, so we use these to travel quickly throughout the world. Who is we? Once you interact with one, you can travel to it at any time. I'm sure they'll be helpful. After activating a waypoint, you can jump to that location using a, using the map. Waypoints can be found in lots of different places. If you spot any, make sure to check them out. Check. Pin. Warp. Southern Village. Shop. Bottom of the Well. Beach Cave. Beach Cave. I guess maybe that doesn't show, because we don't have... The rest of Hyrule Castle on the map, which would be at the other side of that royal secret passage. Seems to have to go through here. Interesting red plants. Mm -hmm. Oh. What are you looking at? Come on. Sensing lots of creatures in this area, I think the place marked with the dot is up ahead. Yeah, you think? So lift over there. I'm wondering if we'll be able to access this. Because it's on the map, but doesn't say that much. Hi. Toss. Toss. Spin. Mm. There's water over there. A bit of boulder. Mm. Forest. Jump on that. Doesn't say much, but it's a way we can drop back down, presumably. And then here. Jump up there rather simply. Oh, that did not quite work. Luckily they're slow as all get out. Alright. Some boulders though. When is one of these gonna have a piece of heart? Just more apples, okay. Five electro apples match the five nectars and bottom of the well, I suppose. But if we push these, answer is nothing. Okay. Cool. Go down there. Back up. Some kind of cave. This is. What is this? Mm -hmm. Doesn't say yet. See how far we can progress outside. This is... Watch out for monsters hiding in the grass. Hmm, okay, so there's a rope right there. Okay. So we could use that as a shield. Okay. There we are. You got... You are the rope echo. A snake-like monster that rushes at its prey head along, able to dodge airborne foes' attacks with ease. Hmm. There you are. Go ahead, rush at me, and I- Oh, ouch. 
Oh, ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, it's time to put a bed down and just rest. So let's get far away enough. How much can really be done to you? I would imagine that nicer beds would restore hearts more quickly. Because if this is the old bed, I imagine it was a nice bed, or at least just a regular bed echo. Okay. Back up. That's your remote. Hi. Oh, so they don't see me. Oh, interesting. Imagine that something is blocked off by this rift. And once we get the ability to remove it, we'll be able to see things a bit more clearly. Oh well. Rift. Toss. There we go. Some of the grass. Hmm. Come on. Another cave entrance. Hmm. Multiple cave entrances around here. Okay. Oh, this works. On the mob one. Could always just use the sea urchins again. Hi. Go ahead, throw your spear. And... Hmm. It's limited. Ah, well, it kind of stuck. Oh, come on. Hmm. Maybe the rocks would actually do better. Who is throwing and where? Come on. This actually kind of tough. I'm wondering, they really want you to actually use summon enemy echoes, huh? These rocks are quickly not hacking it. Maybe this is just supposed to walk me off. I can dodge that easily enough at least, and there's our moblin echo. Nice. You are in the Spear Moblin Echo, a brutish monster found all over Hyrule. Its hurled spears can reach even high up targets. Okay. Place you down once. No auto throw or anything like that. Mm -mm. So this is leading up to that spot. Which I suppose is going to be the way to start getting into that world area. Mm -hmm. The echoed world or whatever. Whatever they call those rifts. So... I guess I should go in that other cave first. Or at least maybe this one. Ah, oh, Spear Bob one takes two. Okay. Something over there. Chop that down. Let's have a nice look at this. Oh, hello. But you do not drop like that. Hi. Yeah. Alright. Epic armadillo moment. Hmm. There are limits to the ability of this to work. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's like pulling teeth. Well, that worked. And that's. You want the Chromadillo Echo. This monster lives in caves or plains, recklessly charging everything it sees. It holds its tail to roll, bouncing off walls. Okay. You know, as nice fun as an idea would be to have a playthrough without using any autonomous echoes for combat, I don't think that's really going to be a possibility. And very plainly, that was going to be the way to break things. Another apple. Let's get our first heart container. Hi, hello. Very plainly. It's the power of mutual annihilation. Oh, wow. This is basically like a fireball, I guess. Okay, there you are. It's not very grass, and it bounces off of me. Hmm. So it's just a simple matter of jumping across. And there we are, first heart container. You got four pieces of heart. Maximum number of hearts has increased and they've been filled. Fun. Okay. Now the sea urchin, honestly, seems to do less damage than the chromadilla, which makes sense since chromadilla does take more capacity, but still. There is no name on that. Interesting. Also, the enemies have not respawned. 
It's interesting. Let's try this out. Go ahead, break this up. Okay. Yeah, this this is more fun. Hi. It's interesting to see how they choose to bounce then. I did not mean to do that. The back. We will let you take that out while we cut the grass. Hmm. This foot always in here. This is... What is the purpose of this place existing? Not as hard as the rocks, though. Oh, a fire zole. That's exciting. This should... Eventually... Should eventually lock onto that zole. Or not. Let's try this again. It's kind of like a candle. That's fun. And... You're gonna lock on? Thank you. There we go. And that's... Source of fire. You earned the Ignizol Echo. A white zole with a flame on top of it. Yeah, it's just a candle. Anything it touches is set ablaze. Oh, and you can see that burned grass. So where's this all gonna go? It's clearly a bit of a side pathway. Oh well. Go ahead. Well. So, break down bushes. Does the job well enough for me. The fact that we can't really go between enemies in terms of walking on is a bit annoying. But yeah, we'll just have our spirit ash summon do the job for us. Fair enough. That's why it exists. And very plainly, we use the Ignazol to light that fire. Come on, baby, light my fire. Okay. Anything behind? Very plainly, no. Okay. Another rupee. So let's get you back and try that Ignazol. Hello. And. Oh, I just put it right on there and it basically. Takes the place of the candle. Okay. Then make it jump into there? Kinda. And here's something. And this is. What is this? It's. Oh, an empty bottle! You got a fairy bottle. Fairy is along these sturdy bottles and it'll jump right inside. Oh, okay, because presumably potions you buy are just going to come up. It's going to be sold as potions without the need for a bottle. Okay. So there's another little cave gone through. That's fun. Pots respawn, which makes sense because they're presumably necessary for some kind of puzzle. Okay. That's cool. wonder what fire would do to enemies. Can that... Oh, no. We can put ourselves out. That's fun. I wonder if we'll have some way to resist fire eventually, but... They are... A hazard to me, too. Interesting. Let's rest a little. Get one hurt back. It's cool to have the good old caves. Especially since they're ways to learn. Echoes that you wouldn't get otherwise, so... Your combat strength is very, very plainly dependent on how many optional objectives you do then. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. My question is, can I get over there now? Bet I could. Let's see. A trampoline down. But another trampoline down here, maybe. Hmm, not quite. Maybe. I don't know. What if I use a decorative shrub? It's the tallest thing I've got available at the moment. It's not quite work. Hmm. This... Hmm. Yeah, let's just progress things on the intended route. I'm sure that everything will work out in the end. And eventually I'll get things I can use to just 
hop over things instead of actually engaging. So now we'll do things normally and not only did it die, it was extinguished. So it becomes a normal Zol too. Fun. So Southern Prairie, Southern Ruins. Oh yeah, so clearly that's the guy. Okay. Something is definitely going to block my way, right? I would imagine. But just in case, let's see. Hmm. Let's put an Ignizol down. Oh, they're tossing. Hmm. It's very, very slow. Oh, there we go. Oh well. Jump, and now you're on fire, and therefore panicking. Oh, that's good damage. I like that. This is... You got a monster thing. This high-quality tooth was dropped by a monster. You can't use it in its current form. Monster thing. When used in a drink, it may produce stronger effects for the drinker. Come on. Oh, okay. Ah. That's tough. Well then, hello. And we got you on fire. That's nice. Rather effective. And... Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Okay, cool eggs. Mm. It's a bit tough. It... I guess we'll use the armadillos. That's fine. Go ahead, throw. Walk off and... Oh, you can go there. That's tough. Hmm. Let's spam these. It just gets rid of the previous ones. We can use these as projectiles without much of an issue. Okay. That's cool. Meat's gone. Finally. Thank you. But we need to make sure it hits at least. Otherwise, it'll disappear before it lands its hit. Okay. And it can jump away from us, too. Oh, okay, so that was a monster lock. So how are we going to get up there, though? Probably just a bunch of trampolines. Refreshing grapes, too. Hmm. There's a rock there. Let's try some trampolines. Okay. And this is... Some more grapes. Ten bunches of refreshing grapes. Unfortunately, we have a bed already. Aw. This is not a spot I was able to get to before. Interesting. Got a teleport point. Nice. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Yeah, so where can we get to before going through here? Can't see a thing around here. I have to imagine that one of these is eventually going to have something hidden. But probably they'd have a bit more indication of so. Hi. Thanks. Yep. Or not. Spear's annoying. Thanks. Thanks. There we go. Cool. Let's keep on spinning. Something will be in this cave, I would imagine. Oh, we can just learn the torch. That's fun. We're in the brazier echo. Stand near this portable fire pit and bask in its warming glow to stave off the cold. Hmm. What is inside here? Probably some kind of brazier puzzle. Hey, this is the fastest way to move. Oh, a pea hat! It's basically a mini boss. I. Use some Ignazel stuff, but I bet it's about putting the brazier down and. Wow, okay. But imagine that. Yep, fire is effective against plant like enemies. Mm -hmm. Probably some kind of range, too, but... Well, that worked. 
And this is... You got a monster stone. These strange stones form inside the bodies of monsters. Kind of like a bezoar. Oh, well, that's different. Strange stones that form in monster bodies are considered a collectible among enthusiasts. Pihat? It's not... More the Pihat Echo. Normally, they don't show up that big in 2D titles. Ooh! Yeah, vulnerable to fire. A large plant creature that spins its spiky roots to attack like most plants, it is vulnerable to fire. These are only three cost echo. So I'd imagine it's going to be a rather strong summon, too. That's fun. So the first time they showed up that big was in... Ocarina of Time. I like the lighting effect they've got there with that Ignazol. Alright. Let's see how far ahead we can go. We haven't gone that quest point yet. Get up. Let's see what's all over here. The answer is... Nothing yet, because we don't have the ability to go into rips yet. Awesome! So, mandatory story progression rears its ugly head again. Honestly, this linearity is a bit refreshing. After two Zeldas, you can go straight to the final boss pretty much first thing. Spin our way down to Southern Prairie. And oh, this is where that guy was. Well, it seems that that isn't really an option anymore. Hmm. Is this where we were supposed to go? Looks like the rift is blocking the door. Zelda, my role is to mend rips. So we can start going in now. I have lots of friends who do the same. We all work together fixing up rips. Normally, my friends fix them quickly, so it's weird that this is still here. I wonder if something happened to them. Zelda, will you investigate with me? I'm guessing my friends are in the rift, and if we find them, we can mend this rift easily. <clears throat> Give me the ability to mend rips. Let's head this way. We'll need to find an entry point. Mysterious rips, your destination has been swallowed up by a rip, search for a spot you can enter the rip so that you and try can mend it. Yeah, we can't go in there yet. So, and you can see, shattered terrain. Gonna be interesting given that there are small rifts, which I wonder if we'll be able to enter the small rifts individually. A bit like the caves. Or if they'll all just go away at once. Hmm. I kind of feel like marking all of these rifts for when they inevitably get patched up to see what they might uncover when the areas they originally were in were become accessible. It's three for each. Sure. Get rid of those eventually, but we'll have to move these all manually. Eh. The cave does not have a name. It's interesting. It's that pin over here. One of those. It's between here, I really do wonder. It's got a fairy. Hi, bottle that fairy. The fairy jumped into your bottle. The fairy will automatically restore some hearts if you run out. Oh, it's in key items. Okay, if you lose all your hearts, the ferret will fly out of the bottle and heal you. I wonder what that gauge is. It's probably the sword fighter mode gauge. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can set pins for pieces of heart. Oh, interesting. So if you presumably it would only be if you've seen them before. Can mark that though, which is fun. I guess to help people out if you're trying to figure out how many of them. Sort of info sharing. That's fun. Keep on moving through. I... it's probably not important. But... should be our entry point. And yep, we got a ripple there. Fun. They start you off hard and fast. 
Got a Ganon fight at the start of the game. And then... Escape sequence. Another escape sequence. Just get the run. Start echoing. I knew it. I can sense my friends in there. But they can't move. It seems like they're trapped. If that's the case, they won't be able to mend the rift at all. I think we'll have to go in there and help them. Then we can deal with this rift properly. We can save them if we work together, Zelda. Okay. So, what do you say? Yay! She didn't say anything. Hmm. And there is our entry point. Nice. Time to hop on in. Alright, we can get in there now. Let's go save my friends. Mysterious rifts. Try made an entrance into the rift. Once you save Tri's trapped friends, you should be able to mend the rift. So this is Hyrule Castle. Hm. Yay! Here we are in Stilled Southern Forest. Oh, you can just fall off. Oh, okay, but it didn't cost any health, at least. Ah, it's a map of... Right, it's the still world. Holy crap, boat of consciousness. Distortion world. This is the still world. Everything you see floating around in here was sucked into a rift. Anything that ends up in here will begin to break apart and eventually vanish completely. Including people. Right? Me and my friends have the ability to restore things that have ended up in rifts, though. No comma. Sad. Speaking of, I sense my friends deeper in here. Let's go, Zelda. So I would imagine that pretty much anything is going to be pee out of now. Let's see how this thing fights. Can we move it? Uh, okay. Oh well. Let's go ahead. Oh, I. Oh, wow! Okay, so it'll try to chase you down. That's interesting. Once it grabs you, then it turns into monsters? Hello, person. Hi. When people get pulled into rifts, they kind of petrify and can't move anymore, and if they stay that way, they'll eventually fade away. Youch. But that won't happen to you, Zelda, you're special. Triforce of Wisdom? Probably. Yup. Hmm. So in here. I wonder if there's gonna be a boss or at least a mini boss encounter. Oh well. Hi. Will the P-Hat break those? It doesn't seem like it. Okay. Is this thing stupid? It might be stupid. You walk on, then it will catch on. I guess it's flying up too high. It's interesting. Weird. Not anymore? Huh. So I guess this is a job for Spear Moblin. Fair enough. Can lift you? I- Oh, oops. Whis! You don't take fall damage. It's good enough. Ah, pursue the target. That was nice. Basically stayed still, too. So very plainly, we need to use a rock to depress the switch. Right? I Actually, I guess we don't. Huh. You know, given the fact that things will easily push you off... Oh, we can even throw them. Things will easily push you off of ledges. I think it's probably a good thing. Let's use our P-hat. Oh well. Grounded enemies are going to be fodder for the P-Hat. Swirl Nectar. It, it may be stupid and slow, but... When it gets working, it gets working. It's actually pretty evil. Get that rupee. One, two, there you go. Thank you, P-Hat. Me when I run away and let the P-Hat do my job for me. Come on. 
so let's continue. Oh, you can pick it up. That's nice. Huh. It's big enough that it actually comes as a bit of a surprise to me. Over here now. Oh, that little king. And what else is coming? Something down here. There's directions. Oh well. Go ahead. Keep chopping. Oh my goodness. And that makes them show up, it seems. Mm. Is it too high up? Well, I we can just push them off, which is an even better option. But honestly, recreating it closer might be a better option, because it seems to make an attack immediately upon wake up, too. Mm -hmm. What should I think about? So. Where to? That'll work. What is the end point of this meant to be? Well, this was a side pathway where the only payoff was blue ruby. That's fine. But it is nice that just... There was no bottomless pit penalty, it seems. Regardless of the situation. There is something down here. Hmm. Leading to presumably that chest? Or not. Very voidy. Okay. Cool. Go ahead. And just get chopped up. That's simple. So it doesn't seem we can cancel echoes on a ladder. No, you can. You can do it anywhere. That's good. And this is. Okay, purple rupee. About 50 rupees. That makes you really happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you're too high up when you do that, you'll just get back on top. Okay. Hmm. So how to get up there? It's gonna be bad. <laughs> this is actually something I think they showed in a couple of the trailers. Hmm. Well then. How to get far away enough. One, two, three. Two, three. We can get on top here now and now we can just bridge up. Cool. There we are and this is... Oh, just, just a red rupee. 20 rupees, excellent. But no stone is getting left unturned and no chest is getting left unopened. Enough creative stacking will work. It's probably more of a stacking game than anything else. Is this the same person? No, it's not. Oh, that's the minister. Hi. Hey, I remember this one from the castle. I can restore her back to normal if we mend this rift. If. Well. Oh, is this the dungeon? Oh, nice. That's fun. Stilled Southern Forest. Here we are. In... This is where you were trapped not too long ago. Presumably if we close a rift. I wonder if they'll preserve an entry point if we miss any chests, but either way, the waypoint should still let us get in somehow. This is where you were trapped not too long ago. Oh, this is actually the castle? Wait. We're getting closer to my friends. They're farther in, but we're getting there. Southern Ruins. And you're drawing attention to the waypoint because we forgot what it was all about. Southern Ruins. First four. So there are just two fours? I guess. Huh. That's more Foral Nectar. And where is our dungeon map? Okay, this is where we should get bind. Hmm. Or one. Huh. Okay, oh, so you scroll up and eventually goes to the second floor map. And now I get it. Kinda. New ability time. Yay. Oh, that's a pretty big rock, huh? 
You know, when I'm fixing rifts, I have to move a lot of things around. I bet the ability to do that would come in handy for you. If you've gone with a rod, I can move things for you based on your movement. Try facing this boulder and then go on me by pressing X. Guide. It's bind. We're bound together. Okay, now try moving. Use X to guide. Try and bind the monster object that try binds to. It will then follow your movements. And also use the L to target whatever you want to try to bind to. Okay. And switch. Do that again, but it won't come back. Interesting. We'll go on to that. Do that from real far away. And we can just drop it if we feel like it. So that would have been another option, just dropping it. Interesting. There we go. And also, just... Move it to let us get up there. Plainly. Let's leave this in here. Oh, okay, we can swim with Bond after, which is good. No worries there. That's more grapes. So I would imagine that this might not have been where they intended us to go. This should go down, actually, so... What will this be? Spire, though, clearly. Let's just drop a rock on you. Simpler. Or a pot. Oops. Okay, rock would do the job better. Or not. Huh? Oh, okay. You seem a bit more resilient then. Hmm. Let's try that. Go ahead, go ahead. Get chopped. Now that was legitimately rather resilient. So it slowly drips down and... You were the Strandle Echo, not a Skultula. Seems to be a new one. A spottery monster that spins thread to dangle from ceilings. The thread is strong, but quite flammable. Interesting. Go ahead. Thank you, P Hat. Let's keep on slicing it up. Hmm. I wonder. I use this, could I grab up? Or. Yep! Use this to get up top. Just immediately goes up to the ceiling so we can use it as, a, as an impromptu ladder. But I don't imagine it would be all that useful in spots without. Side scrolling, you got a dungeon map. Now you can see the dungeon layout in this area of the still world. Well, we already saw that. Press minus to open up the dungeon map. Well, it's open, you can toggle the still world view on and off with left and right dungeon maps. Uh huh, okay. Well, we saw that. Still forest. Well, this is always left, and this is always. But it's not always right. It's the leftmost, and then it's. Still world, and then the dungeon. Oh, we can even see how to get through there, but that was just an item on its own. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure how all of this is going to link up then. There seem to be some things that are unexplained still. Okay. Well, let's get up. Open that chest with the rock that we moved. And it's still there, which is nice. Okay, we can jump that. So we got a chest in here, and yep, we just got a bond to pull it out. Cool. Yeet. It's just magnesis. And butter. You got four, five portions of radiant butter. This butter is fermented in such a way that it shines brightly. You can't use it in its current form. <clears throat> when used in a drink, it makes the drinker glow for a time. So presumably it would be for... Lighting up dark areas, maybe? Of course, we do have echoes for that, too. Okay. Oh. It is nice that they do connect them to dungeons. Also, that this intro dungeon is 
seemingly unskippable. You do actually have to do it. Oh! No, you can use it anyway. As long as there's a ceiling, presumably. Which is rather nice. We whiff that. And make another. It will. Okay. So in dungeons, that is... Comically useful. <laughs> Honestly, a bit overpowered. Oh, but... Oh, this seems to be... Oh, when he said... When Tri says in prison before, it means... Tri means... This is... Okay, at least we're not taking damage from the fire. But I would imagine that... Yeah, the fire's not going out. Just dies. And this is where the Ganon fight was. You can see that elevator. So we're already back, okay. Cool. Hmm. Just trying to think of how he got through. Eh, not my problem. We're back here already, but it raises the question of why Ganon would be in such a frankly nothing place. Yep, and of course you can't go over the ceiling, even see your bumper. Give you all had and wow, there are already dark nuts here. Cool. Awesome. Do my fighting for me. And stun lock it, it seems. It's nice. Oh wow. Oh and well there's our dark nut echo. That's how many? You won the Dark Knight Echo. Oh, it is three. Nice. A martial monster in sturdy armor. It is slow and plodding, but its armor makes it utterly immune to blunt force attacks. So I guess rocks wouldn't have worked. Well, getting that pee hat is nice, but this might be a better option, honestly. But of course we can get up and over in a way Link was not able to. Nice. Okay. So otherwise, I don't think I could really get anywhere this way. Yep, you can't. Because it is all rift. It's the surround stays. Well, not this time. Okay. Just summon in a ladder. Pretty much anywhere. How convenient. So we have to take a different path because it's been swallowed up. I wonder if and when it gets restored, whether that'll mean... Different way through for us. I still want to check. What if I jump onto the brazier and it will damage me? But... <laughs> I'm glad that they let you do that, honestly. So... Let's get up. Go down. Clearly, we can light some stuff up. One of the trailers they show you using... A bush and using vine to move it, but you can also just use the ignazol. <laughs> that works too. Yep, you can burn the grain. Burn it to ashes. This is actually taking longer than I expected. Okay, get dropped. Jump across. Ooh, lag, not good. Presumably, we just need to light all the rangers. Come on. Go ahead. The fire should spread and... Yep, there we go. Yeah, we wouldn't have that Ignazol if we hadn't. Okay. Oh, so it spread to the final one already? Okay. That's fine. Put the bed down. Rest. Get our grapes. Oop. Interesting puzzle there. Yeah, because you can move around flammable objects with bind, or you can just literally... What is this shield doing there? We obviously pull that off. Summon something that's already on fire. There is another waypoint. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. And very plainly, if we bind this, we can pull it off. Yep, there we go. 
The odd one out was the answer to our question. Hmm. Where to next? So you can instantly switch that around. So this is the footprint of the entire dungeon, but the rooms differ a bit. Boss door is very plainly there. It's down here. Oh, so it's infinite scrolling to mark the way these go. Interesting. Because it's spatially rather weird. Definitely a sort of labyrinth. And honestly, I feel like a 3D map actually would have worked just fine here. Frankly, even less confusing, but what do I know? Come on, Pihat. Go ahead. We'll stay behind you. Thanks. Oh, please. Keep spinning. Or not. There we go. Some dark nuts, too. This over here is. Well, I just used the spider. Alright. All the way up to the stupid ceiling. And the same as before. Thank you. Oh. And there we are, we can even get on top of it. This is. Another purple rupee. Makes me really happy, apparently. News to me. So, I wonder what would happen if I put something on top of the chest. I can imagine it would prevent me from opening it? Maybe. Can actually wrap around, that's nice. Oh well. Keep chopping. Please. This is engrossing. Yeah, just swing at each other. Very slow, honestly. That's DPS in that P hat. No, it's just they have in Souls terms basically infinite toys, but hmm. actually they don't. It's blunt attacks that don't stop them, but yeah, this P hat is just broken. Okay. Which is, of course, the point, but... <clears throat> but... Oh, well, this place is familiar. Oh, wow! What doppelganger was already here? Huh? Is that the person who fought the blue monster? Oh, well. Oops! So this should be our sword fighter mode, which I will not be using. Okay. Go ahead. Oh my goodness! Yeah, this is dark nut territory. Except... My shield. Okay, so very plainly, this is not a fight you can do by... Sending multiple... Sending just one. You need to send multiple and... Bog him down. Okay. Now I see what's going on here. Spamming, spamming ropes is not an option either. Hmm. Find some way to get him from multiple angles. So basically, I could put a spear mob one down somewhere here and then just send ropes into his back. Seems to be a decent strategy. Except. Yeah, okay, now I, now I see. Come on. Come on. Come on, go ahead. Oh, please, I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Maybe. What are you focusing on? There we are. Hmm. So, do this, we can sort of fork him in. Need to make sure that I don't die or cast too much in too short a duration come on it's easy to distract him while spears get tossed well that was a bit foolhardy of me this 
is legitimately very interesting. It's a mode of combat, but that jump did not help me. Oops. Well, I. This is tough. Because you cannot approach this head on. You have to figure out some way to divert him. Oh. Okay. There we are. No more doppelganger link. Oh, well. Oh, that's just a scary mode. Oh, interesting. Well, alright. Because dark was mode, and I honestly do, did not want that mob one to retreat like it did. It's. Maybe the Chroma Dilla might do better. I think it's a bit more durable, too. Wow. Hmm. Just send ropes at you in sequence and try to brute force this. No, that's not an option. Wow. Oh, you can actually do it briefly, but eventually he breaks it. Okay. That's too complicated for its own good. Come on. Oh, we can frog him down and let the spears get him. Maybe. Not if I'm too fast for him. This is legitimately a tough fight, if only in the sense that the approach required is so different. Wow. Honestly, the Moblin's ability to flee is more of a problem than a boon. Is he stuck? Holy crap, he's stuck. Now go ahead, get him, Spear Moblin. I'm not going to complain about something good being handed me. And there he is. Goodbye, Link. And we got a sword, which is... Seems to be half of his sword. Maybe? Either way, to get through, we do need to transform to cut that down. That was intense. He looked like the guy who helped you before, but this one wanted to hurt you. He was weird like the imposters back at the castle. Oh. Looks like he left something behind. First, let's sleep. Just a little. The fact that the pea hat just could not do anything to him. Makes sense, but it's surprising. Those big three-cost echoes were just... not really workable in a fight where you had to do it by... swarming him, or at least attacking him from both back and front. Really, really interesting. Huh. Can't get through there. Not without the sword. And... you got a mysterious sword. It's the weapon the swordsman in the green tunic had, but a link is engraved on it. I feel powerful energy coming from that sword, even more powerful than the large rips. Yeah, that sword has a special kind of power. Raise the sword. It's our transformation. Oh. Scary. Scary. Here's our link mode. Fun. Easy as pie. Yay! Okay. So, you look strong like that guy who wears green. Mysterious sword, razor sword with up to enter sword fighter form. Let's transform. You can attack with Y. While transform, defend your shield by pressing and holding ZL. You can also jump higher than usual in this form with B. Finally, hold down Y to charge your sword, then release it for a spin attack. Okay. But it, it is time limited. Even. Particles in here to refresh. Nice. You got some energy. You feel mysterious might grow within you. Is that to refresh our time? Okay. There's the sword right there. A mysterious sword capable of fighting off the monsters of the ramps. There we are. Now we can progress. Okay. Leaving sword fighter form. While in sword fighter form, the energy gauge in the upper left corner of the screen will decrease. It will automatically exit Sword Fighter form after the energy gauge is depleted. You can also exit this form by pressing up, which we just did manually. 
You can refill your energy gauge by powering the L energy, which looks like an L. It's probably for Link. You can camera angle that. Okay. Hmm. Well, I just want to see. What is our boss fight going to be like? I think it's going to be a bit like Ramrock, actually. Hmm. Let's... Can we keep this? Can we keep be able to fit? Lift. And... Yeah, that won't fit. Huh. Okay. Hmm. In that case... Maybe just a trampoline? Alright. Let's move this rock. Let's see where that takes us. Hmm. Okay. That we can at least get across through here, but. Oh, goodness. I didn't want that to happen. Hmm. Let's try that out and see if we can use this to get over. Hmm. That's right, I have that spider. Let's just be using the spider. Okay. Aww. Jump! Sometimes bumps the head. It's not nice. Yep, simple swing. Let's get rid of you. And that's... Oh, this is... You got a heart pin. This hair pin has a distinctive heart design that makes hearts appear a little more often. Equipment, you can wear different items that will have a variety of benefits. You can equip these items from the plus menu under equipment. Ah, there we are. Heart appearance up. Somehow I don't imagine that would actually do anything here. You can now use Amiibo. Select Amiibo from system in the plus menu and tap a figure to receive items that can aid you in your adventure. And that's all of the tips over there. Well, we've seen all these already. Not all of them, but there aren't that many more then. Huh. Interesting. Let me see. What does that show on Zelda? I make a difference. Not anywhere I can see at the moment. Okay. No need for a pin. Let's just keep going. And. Oh, we got more sword fighter energy. That'd be fun if I use this off. Automatically goes to me, which is nice. Oh, I can't let's get out. Okay. This is presumably to make replenishing energy easier if you want to use it before a boss fight. Let's quitter stock. This waypoint has been recorded. Now we're up here using the map, yeah. Can't go yet, it's locked. You need a boss key. Thank you. It's locked, but with the same exact message. Oh, this is the first key door we've actually found. Interesting. Hello, Dekubaba. You are weak to fire, right? Yeah. There we are. Cool. And we can just keep you on fire. This is... When the Deku Baba Echo. Aggressive and immobile. This plant leeches for anything that gets near. It's vulner it is vulnerable to having its head pulled. Oh, interesting. So... If we bond... If we bond, we can... So we snap its head, I guess. Yep, that's fine. So we just gotta break that down. So we'll just be using that as a dungeon item, I suppose. Way to break those membranes that otherwise cannot be broken. Okay. Let's just pull the head. Snap. And there you go. Cool. Super energy up there. It's nice that getting the shimmer can also give you ways to... Information. How to fight things. It's fun. Get that back. What is in here? 
Mm -hmm. Any other switches? Ooh. Very clearly the way we need to do this is to grab it to make it move with us vertically. Move it up. Move it up and then we can move it around to where there's bars and there we go. Nice. It's done. We can now we can get our chest. Fun stuff. That is another purple rupee. You got 50 rupees. It makes you really happy. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> that, get the grapes. And then, and then. Zumui a key. Oh, there. It's the only way to find it this time, then. And we should be able to get our. Our key! Well, a chest that spawns. Should be our key. Yep. You got a small key. You can open a locked door. One single locked door. Cool. So. Now we'll go back and the energy has not come back, but the bots have. And this. Bond puzzles. Interesting. This place haven't been yet. Switch over there. Sure. Lock on to you, and there we are. Magically homes in, which is nice. Okay, so the others couldn't have even been locked onto in the first place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Slaughter will go up here, and we can just use this wedge to hop back out quickly after we presumably get the boss key in that door. So I suppose that Link encounter was this dungeon's mini boss, and oh there, go across and will we learn the other bond option here? Reverse bond that was also in the trailers. Wonder what kind of other abilities we'll get in later dungeons because we're getting more rod abilities, therefore meaningfully increasing capabilities. Even though it isn't marked, interestingly enough. A Piat dropped a monster stone, which is interesting, because I wonder if there'll be more. Which would be smart for the sake of redundancy, so you'd be able to get the Piat from other places too. And also, so we get a chance to fight it again. Oh yeah, Zelda. There's one more thing you can do when using Bond after bonding yourself to something with X by holding R. While holding R, your movements will follow what you are bound to. Reverse Bond while using Bond. Bind and Bond. Not the same. Press and hold R to follow the motion of whatever you've bound yourself to. <laughs> All right, let's follow. Oh, well, if you let go, you just fall. Okay, cool. Okay, can you come back now? Okay, you can. That took all together too long. Let's not make that mistake again. Time to fall. Target me versus not target me. You can see your head tilt a little. That's fine. Here we are. Are we... Ah, so now it's moving with us. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. My question is how I would... Presumably I bind myself and jump across and then reverse bind. Or of course I could just use the spire. <laughs> But, it's more fun to do it the other way. Come on. There we fall. We'll keep us moving. Nice. Oh, hmm. We were just ever so slightly too short. Sad. Hmm. So, let's jump and then target. Should give me the distance I need. How to very gently tap it in. Okay, I can make that jump, which is good. But it, as fun as this is, it's very plainly going to be better done using the spider. Well, alright. And in here is. another red ruby. Okay, excellent. Let's 
Well, that didn't quite work. Oh, but I would imagine... The string will break rather easily. Unless it's... Maybe it's just too high. I guess not. Hmm. That won't break it either. So I wonder what is preventing it from working here. Maybe it's a difference between the kinds of ceilings. Well, I... Okay. That kind of works. Let's get back up top and not screw it up this time. Oh, come on. Okay. Hmm. So it clearly keeps moving. A lot more quickly afterwards. Find and follow. Okay, so using the bind to stop that platform in place is a better way to follow it. Okay. Interesting. Okay, come on. Go ahead. Hmm. But it's very finicky in terms of what it allows you to actually target. Its criteria are strange and inscrutable. Oh, we just have to jump. Yeah, probably. Jump to... Oh, no. This is more interesting. To put down a... Sun to hop onto before we jump on. Mm, okay. There we go. Okay. Let's get our boss key and see what we take on. Taku Baba might be a nice choice, but... Hmm. Open that. And there we are. You got the big key. Now you can open the big door. Because it's 2D Zelda's, it's a big key. And 3D Zelda's, it's a boss key. Pretty sure. What if we... That does not get rid of... It does not put the door back up. It'd be kind of funny if it did, but... Eh. It's fun this way. Imagining Echoes is a bit annoying, so let's take the boss on. Alright. And this is... Oh. Nobody's here, but I definitely sensed my friends in this spot earlier. Well then. And this guy looks a bit like a Ramrock, who is the eighth boss in Zelda. Oracle of Ages. Size no, seismic talus. Huh. Oh, it's more of a Breath of the Wild thing. My friends, they're in that creature. We got to get them out of there. Come on, we can do this. Okay. I interesting. Can I bind any of her hands, maybe? Be an interesting option. Come on. Can I pull that? I can... Can you pull this out? Aha! Yeah, you can just bind that and then... Unleash how. Okay. That's fun. So that's the trick. Oh, I see. It's interesting. I... Come on. Very, very dead. Okay. Let's rip it out. Very nice. And of course, you're supposed to use Sword Fighter mode, but again, that's for quitters. Stay as close as we can, and yeah, go ahead, get back. Oh, now it's in a different spot. Well, that doesn't make much of a difference, does it? Oh, but it's a projectile that can miss. Interesting. Now I understand. Okay, go ahead. It's basically stuck on that. I think resummoning it makes it more active, maybe? Whatever. Come on. Let's try not to miss. Oh, so the Piat can actually hit it, but of course... Imagine it's a better option that you can immediately... Okay, so that's a phase transition. Oh, okay, so presumably it needs to headbutt. First for us to be able to pull? 
Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, maybe we need to do some sort of full HP, maybe? Whatever. Could pull straight, maybe? Yeah, clearly we're not pulling in the right direction. Okay. Come on. Pull, pull, pull. Oh, there we are. It's a bit more complicated. This is cool. It honestly feels a bit like Gear Him in a good way, and that's it's all about your fundamentals with that bonding ability. Let's do this again. Come on. So let's stay away and pull in the right direction. And there we are. It's all about directionality. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stay on the target. Come on. And... Will one more do it? One more shoot mode, can we do it? Oh, and it stalls, which is nice. Okay. Pull. Pull. Just tear your head right out of your head. Thank you. So they really do want you to be using sword fighter mode for damage. Yeah, no. No. There we have it. Thank you, P Hat. Honestly, I wonder if Dark Nut might have been better. Whatever. It's over. That was a fun first boss. It wasn't... It didn't have a lot of attacks. It's very straightforward, but it's a lot of tries. I guess they look a bit like the Kodama and Mononoke Hime. So that these are my friends. We set them free. They're filled with energy and ready to get to work. So now we can finally fix the rift here. Using our echo ability, you can restore the entire area that was swallowed up by the rift. So they're duplicating it more than restoring it. Watch this. Oh. They're a little Pikmin. Probably around 100. Maybe a little more. Maybe 200, 150. Doing a little dance. Oh. And now, it's back in the real world. I wonder what difference that makes. Whatever. <laughs> you forgot one. We pick up our heart container. My friend shared some of their power with me. Level one, two. More sword fighter cage, or... Oh, more... Another triangle, so more echoes. Nice. And more stronger echoes. I feel like I can do even more now. Try again a triangle. Press Y to create all sorts of echoes. Nice. I wonder what the most expensive one is going to be. Maybe it's just Link. Oh yeah, also, they told me something while we were fixing the rift. They said that big rock monster showed up and captured them. So then they weren't able to fix the rift because they were trapped inside the monster. Hmm. Oh, and one other thing. There are crystals that show up when we fix rifts. They're neat, so we'll give them to you, Zelda. Interesting shape. You got five unusual crystals from Try. What will we do with that? I'm all finished up here, so we can head out now if you're ready. I think we can weave from that spot. Teleport, mysterious rips, you got a heart container. You got a heart container, your maximum number of hearts has increased and they've been filled. Heart 5. That should be 20. The question is... If I teleported out... Well, if I went out the door, where would that send me? How could I even get inside here again to begin with? Now we presume we've restored this version of the dungeon. Can I even weave through? Store? No, I can't. And we cannot teleport at the moment. So we have to weave this way. Talk. You can travel between the still world and your world here. Do you want to return to your world now? Not yet. Still cannot teleport. So it's kind of a trap option. 
Yes, please. Because I have no other choice. Okay, let's go. All four triangles swirling around me. Cool. Saving. Thank you. And here we are. Back where that rift originally was. The rift that was here is gone now, which means we can reach the place you were trying to go to earlier. If we keep this up, we will fix all the rifts and we'll be able to save your father. Yeah? You were there a moment of your time. Oh, and it's her. Minister left. Huh? I am left, Minister of Hyrule, pardon the intrusion, but could you tell me where we are? Hello. Oh, oh, Princess Zelda. I'm embarrassed to admit I didn't recognize you in that cloak. Oh, why are you wearing that? Disguise, yada yada. So we failed to save you from that beast. Now you're out here facing much danger. I must confess I'm surprised to hear of your abilities. Your friend Troy accompanied you this whole time. Yeah. Thank you so much, Troy. You can see me. Who can miss you? You're floating right there and aren't you precious? So is it because she was in the rift or I thought only Zelda could see me? Or so Lady Impa couldn't see you, how odd. Adi's aside, I'm worried about His Majesty and the General. We'll need to make a plan. There's much to consider, but for now, it's set at the dot location Lady Impa told you about. I'm getting ahead of myself, but you mind showing me a map? Tell me more. If I recall correctly... Yes, that's the place. That's where Lady Impa's brother lives. Makes sense she'd send you there. Or the way, follow me. Hi! Okay. Though previously paralyzed within the rift, left is recovered. Follow her to the place if I marked on your map with the dot. Okay. Oh, we can't go back yet over here, princess. So, let's travel together, shall we? It's not an option at the moment, then. Hmm. And we can't actually teleport back into the still world yet. But the area is repaired. But we can't even warp. So we're still stuck. Huh. Okay. So in that case, let's treat ourselves to a cutscene. The boss being a seismic talus was interesting. <laughs> As a choice. Hi. Now we got way back, right into your princess. Hello? And you are. It's basically Robbie, it seems. Hello, sir, partner. But my name's left. Lady Imp is my colleague and Blueberry. Blueberry? Who's that? I'm a very busy man. No time for chatter. Now get. I apologize, Shika too. I apologize for the unannounced visit, but please will only be a moment. Interesting they're making Shika tech now after Breath of the Wild. No, no, no. I'm about to leave. Come back later. You could just hear us out. I said no. Got to go save a Link. Oh. Hmm? Oh, mistakes is for Link. Hang on here. It's a Link's cloak. So why do you have it? Do you see him well? What? Okay, tell me everything. Tell me about the rifts and anything you know about the swordsman. Oh. Hmm, I understand the situation now. Thanks for the explanation, princess. Here we finally got through to him. Alright, this has been bugging me ever since you barged in here. What is that floaty thing? You can see me too, so why can't Impa? That strange Zelda's always been able to, but now both of you can as well. Presumably because they were in the rifts. You're telling me we're the only ones who can see you? That's odd. Indeed, such a fascinating and not ad adorable creature. Yeah, yeah, sure, but back to Madaran. Oh, he probably didn't even notice. Because he didn't eat the house, just the door. What is it that you and I have in common? You both ended up in the rifts? No, he did end up in the rift. I both ended up in rifts and went to tell the tale. It seems the rifts changed people somehow. Oh yeah, I guess I should introduce myself. The name's Luberi. I'm Emperor's older brother. The swordsman who saved you is Link. I made his weapon the Sword of Might. Mm. Sir Luberi, why did you make him a sword? Because there is no master sword? Princess, remember the, that big nasty blue fellow who captured you? That sword was for taking him out. See, I spent my time researching Hyrule's history and its rifts. For ages now, rifts have appeared and sometimes folks have ended up in them. Was unfortunate enough to be pulled into a rift, vanished without a trace. After which Chancewick would say they'd been stolen away. 
Any Hellwink made it his mission to fight the monsters that come crawling out of the rifts. He also tried to prevent folks from going missing, and I've been helping as I'm able to. Which is why I made him a sword, one that's effective against the rift monsters. The sword of might, since it's Zelda's wielding. This is the very one I hoped would be of use to me. Slink was helping out with the rifts as well. Plenty of monsters come out of rifts, but that blue one which is particularly powerful, so they don't recognize Ganon? I've got a hunch that if we take him out, it'll fix the whole people disappearing business. Princess, you sure that one managed to take the blue guy out? And yet the rifts keep coming, so it's faint. Clearly we're missing something. Gotta seal him, maybe. The rift in the forest is gone, but one's not back. What we need is more information. But Ganon was in those ruins. So what gives? I may have something useful. When I was taken by the rift in Hyrule Castle, I felt like I was flown somewhere far away. The rift I was pulled into was at Hyrule Castle, but Princess Zelda found me in a rift in the forest. Oh, so how did I end up over there? If so, follow the same rules as your world, things can act differently inside them. My friends had mentioned something about oversized rifts in other areas. You might end up finding the king and other missing people in far-off rifts. So maybe Link is somewhere else then. Hey, Zelda. I'm going to fall apart for some of the other big rifts. This will be our story points, which we can engage in with in any order, presumably. That was fast. So, I think I found something. There's no saying where Zelda's father and the others might be. But I did spot some big rifts we can go explore. Nice. <clears throat> so that's one in the river, and one in Gerudo Desert. I mark them on your map, Zelda. How do we go to other places first? If we fix the rifts, we may be able to save your father and the others. So let's get to work, Zelda. Oh. Princess Zelda, I must insist that you refrain from going to any more rifts. It's far too dangerous. It's up to her to decide, Minister. I mean, she's the only one capable of mending the rifts. During this time of crisis in Hyrule, we all have to play our parts, Princess Zelda included. You make a salient point, Mr. Blueberry. Princess, I urge you to go and try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. Ministry, stay here and help me investigate the rifts. I'll play support for the princess. Oh, of course, investigations are my specialty. Princess, the rifts marked by Tri are located in the Gerudo Desert in Jabul waters. Not Jabu Jabu or Jaboon, but Jabul. Please let me know if you require further information on my princess. I'll leave it to you to find the king, general, right, and link. Oh yeah, I almost forgot that sword you got there. Pretty sure I can make it even more powerful than it is. I'll have to do more research on it, though, so talk to me later if you're interested. Hmm. We got some of that unusual crystal, just probably for the sword. An enigmatic crystal that glows faintly, its surface is covered in rectangular whorls. Twice power, power tries received from their friends. Serious rifts complete. Hmm. Gonna get a new one for more rifts? Searching for everyone. The King of Hyrule and the others may be inside different large rifts. Head to the rifts in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul waters. The King and the others who are missing might be inside other rifts. Tries mark the location of two large rifts in the Gerudo Desert and Jabul waters. The rifts. I'll be here helping Mr. Wuberry investigate the rifts so we can better support you. So how can I help? Turn to other rifts. Right now there are large rifts in Jabul waters and the Gerudo Desert. I'm happy to share anything I know about those areas. Jabul waters. Jabul waters is northeast of here. It's the Zora who are remarkable swimmers. Residents are divided into the Sea Zor and River Zor on the coast. Soon after entering Jabal Waters, there is a small Hylian fishing village. I'm sure the villagers there will have interesting morsels to share with you about the local area. Jordan Desert. Jordan Desert is west of us. It's a harsh land with high temperatures and sandstorms. Skilled warriors known as the Jerudo live in a tarn far into the desert. And yes, I almost forgot to mention, there are women, not a man among them. They're often on patrol near the desert entrance, so you may want to talk to them there. Let's talk. I keep thinking about His Majesty, the General, and think I hope that by mending the rifts, they'll be returned to us. Farewell. Please take care of yourself. We're counting you upon the King, the General, and Link. Your sword. You want to chat about the sword, huh? As I mentioned before, the Sword of Might is my craftsmanship. For a while now, I've been researching a type of crystal. It sometimes left behind from the rifts. In my research, I discovered that it's highly effective against rift monsters. Aha, and it appears they have some of that blue crystal with you. I ended up calling it Might Crystal. It's what I forged the Sword of Might from, in fact. From my investigations into the rifts, I met Wink, who's from Southern Village. I made the sword for him, and the rest is history. Wink's made good use of the sword, meanwhile I've continued forging things with my crystals. See that machine in the corner? I designed it to enhance the sword. 
Now looking at this sword, it seems like, seems like it's lost some of its power, but once we enhance it, it'll be back to its original state. Should give it a try. All you need to do is bring me some mic crystals. Enhancing weaponry, check the machine in Luberu's house to enhance your weapons using mic crystals. Need something? Tell me about Link. Want to learn about Link? Well, I suppose I've got a minute. You know how I talked about people being stolen away over the years? Well, there's one story about all of that which is pretty unique. At one point, there was a group of children who went missing, but they ended up coming back. Link was one of the kids in that group. Unfortunately, those poor kids lost a lot of that ordeal, the memories of their spirits. They lost the ability to speak, but Link, he was different. Well, he did was... Oh, so... The first explicitly mute Link. He did lose the ability to speak. He's the only one who recalled being stolen away. On top of that, he gained a special ability to sense when new rifts would appear. So he started using his uncanny ability to head monsters off whenever a new rift would crop up. He also did what he could to prevent others from being taken into rifts. I bet if he, think, he thinks if he keeps fighting, he might eventually be able to speak again. With his dedication, he's, he's kept countless people from ending up in rifts. So I'm sure he's also doing this because it's the right thing to do. It isn't just self-motivated. So I've got through on Wink. Need anything else? What should I do? It says I urge you to go try to the other rifts. You're the only one who can fix them and save all the people who've gone missing. No thanks. Got a rocky journey ahead of you. Keep your chin up, princess. Check that. What do you want to enhance? I sword my energy. I check out machine runner. We want to enhance something. Monsters of the rifts. My crystal, a crystal infused with a strange power, it can be used for upgrades or blueberries. Spend them as quickly as I can. I won't be using them for them for anything other than breaking membranes anyway. My energy. I need to take five mud crystals from you, okay? Sure thing, leave it to me. Cool. That sword goes in. And. That sword comes up. The energy gauge is now level two. Nice. Cool. Wonder if it'll eventually be infinite. Probably not. Level 2 energy, level 2 sword. I'll check out the machine whenever you want to enhance something. Mysterious sword capable of fighting off the monsters of the rifts. They change its sword of might into might crystal. Different. Oh, and our gauge is up there. Okay. Right. So presumably, if we wanted to, we could. Okay, and the bow and. Bomber here, too. So we'll get those eventually, presumably. Could just jump and slash at the head and all, but pulling it out with bind is honestly a lot more interesting. Check Looper's diaries here, read entry one. The crystal I unearthed at a rift site, what I'm now calling a mic crystal of strange power. Monsters that sprang from the rifts seem repelled by it. If I can get enough of it, I feel certain it would be powerful against the rift monsters. After many late nights of research, I'll develop a technology that can refine the crystals. And there I'll be able to create a weapon from the crystals as well as enhance that weapon. So now I'm pondering what type of weapon I should make. I'll test some things to begin with. Keep reading. I was nearly attacked by a monster in the forest when a young man named Wink rescued me. Folks in Southern Village tell me that Wink was among a group of kids who were stolen away. These kids made it back somehow, though. Remarkable. All the kids who were taken by rifts have lost something for Wink. He lost the ability to speak. Despite all he has been through, he fights to keep others safe. His bravery has moved me deeply. Then it hit me this young man would be the best person to entrust this sort of might to. I do believe I can support him in his efforts. Tomorrow I'll visit Southern Village again. Sword of Might I entrusted one packs a wall up against those rift monsters, as I hoped. But it doesn't seem to be enough for the blue monster who we believe is creating the rifts. It is a fearsome monster indeed. I suspect the sword is not yet powerful enough to defeat him. However, I should be able to further enhance the sword, so I must gather more Might Crystals. Keep reading. Link stopped by on his way home from his travels. He likes the hood I gave him the other day. While he cannot speak, his feelings come through as clear as day. I decide to make a new weapon. I must do what I can to continue to help Link. Keep reading. Link stop by. He's off to defeat that blue monster once and for all. He seemed to be in a huge rush, but I couldn't figure out why. The sword of mine has been forged as best as I am able. I gave him some other weapons too, yet I cannot help but worry. Please stay safe and return to us, Link. The bear's diary is here, and it's done. Okay. That's all, then. Gonna mention those other weapons, or... No. Okay. Thank you. Five hearts. Southern Forest. Hoover's House. Unmarked Caves. Honestly, I do want to check. What if I went back inside that dungeon? Right now with what I have. Also... 
Are those monsters gonna come back, or...? Oh, there's a new chest. That's interesting. Is it just constantly responding, or...? Well, it... Oh, wow, they keep jumping. Come on. Come on. Keep slashing. Simple enough. Oh, please. And... Oh. What? Come on. Come on. Chop him up, chop him up. Thank you. There we go. That's another gun. Sponge and... Oh, so if they respawn... I'd imagine it's just grapes every time. Would not imagine that anything... The permanent worth is going to be respawning the way this stuff does. So... Yeah, it's just a way to farm grapes. Okay. For anyone who cares about that kind of thing. What if we go into the dungeon? Again. Oh, so this would let you go into the still world. Oh, and it's... It's just completely blocked off. Okay. But I... Somehow I get the feeling that... Eventually... We'll break that open and... The final Ganon fight will be in there too. So this is how we get back into the store. Do you want to visit the store again? Yes, please. Cool. Yeah, let's go. What if we go back into the boss chamber? What would happen? Just out here. But puts us all the way at the start, but of course we can just teleport in. Let us see. What is in that boss chamber? Got all the items and chests though, so we're okay. Bit of energy for those who care. Okay, so you can't be fighting the boss here, sadly. No more seismic tiles. Sad. Hmm. might be in the village. Beach is done. Probably get rid of these now too. Yeah. It's nice that it homes on, but to do them one by one, which is a little bothersome. Okay. Another way, we're good to go, and it's a sword icon for sword upgrades. Let's go back here real quick and just see. What if anything is there? There's also... A slightly rough barrier. Bottom here. I just wonder how we'll get on top and if there will be anything. It seems like a slope. Makes me wonder. Okay. Hello. We can use the path that goes up to the field now that the rift is gone. By the way, stranger, that cloak of yours did someone give that to you? It's just that it looks exactly like one a young man from this village wears. Well, I'll never tell. That's another teleport point. The house is... Anything up here? I... If I burned that tree somehow, that's something interesting would happen, but... Can't do much if there's nothing up there. Okay. Come on. Can we burn this tree? Hmm. Could a dark not chop this tree down? It. Very plainly, this tree seems suspicious. There's no way that there isn't some. Really going on. But it does not seem like I'm lighted up. What if I chopped at the tree? No. Okay. Hmm. I. 
There's gotta be something here. The base is just way too conspicuous. We can't lock onto it yet. That's the thing. Well. Anything new to sell? Uh-huh, we got energy potion and a purple potion, which looks like more health. Yeah. Hearts and energy. That's purple potion, would you like some? Drinking this will cover hearts and energy. Very effective, but kind of bitter. Hmm. Okay. Hey. It's cheaper, but no energy. Okay. Hey. To recovery, so it's always going to be half no matter how much energy you have. Trying to recover energy. This potion tastes odd, but is wonderfully invigorating. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Can I help you? I'd like to chat. Mm. When the world did you get that cloak? A young man who lives here wears one like it. I'd better stock up if they were in style. Yeah. Hmm. Uh. Alright. Yeah. Kind of bitter. Mm. What else do the others have to say? Oh well. Hey. Give it a bounce, miss. Yeah. Can you believe it? My life is back home, sick and sad. I didn't know what to do when I saw her swept up in that rift. So anyway, that cloak of yours that's just like Link's, is that what's in style right now? Funny if you could just echo that axe. Swing it. Too easy. Hmm. Oh, he has a quest. Interesting. Guess so we could do that real quick. Hello. I'm sorry I was lost in thought. There's no shortage of things to fret about these days. Well then. Oh, where next? Hello, wife, person. I've been told that my husband kept calling me when I was trapped in the rift. If he'd been the one to get stuck, I'd have been too scared to approach it. It's what may that's maybe fallen up with him all over again. I'd be embarrassed to tell him that. Funny. Hello, dude. Hello there, traveler. Mind if I bend your ear? That would hurt. Things have been a mess lately with the rifts and monsters and whatnot. It's got my wife worried sick. I was thinking I'd cheer up by bringing home something rare. So I go on a little walk, and what do I find? A giant plant that flies up here. But wouldn't you know, near those caves deep in the forest, I was sad to the thing. I'm half convinced I imagined it. I have no idea if, I, if I'll ever see that plant again. It's so way to hunt down that echo, but we already did that. Finding the flying plant. It's a nation side quest. An elderly man from Southern Village is hoping to cheer his, up his wife with a flying plant. I saw near some caves deep in Southern Forest. And that's actually right here because we already have it. Saw that giant flying plant near the caves deep in Southern Forest. At least I think I did. Maybe I dreamed the whole thing. And I did not mean to do that. Okay, here's your pee hat. Oh, oh. Wait. Whipped it. Can we talk to you? Or... Oh, okay, we had to place it there. Whoa. That's it. That's the plant I saw. You take the time to go find it for me. Well, thanks, Traveler. I should go grab my wife. She'll want to take a look at the... Huh? Is she afraid? Too scary? This thing's not a plant at all. It's a monster. Oops. Help. And it's gone now. Whoa, I really had no idea what I was dealing with. I'm sorry you went out of your way to bring it to me, but well, there's no way that would have cheered up my wife. Oops. Why do you want to do all that trouble just to make me feel better? Oh no, she is. Oh, Ethera. Did you hear all that? Well, your voice does care. You know, there was no need to do all that for my sake. Perfectly happy as long as I have my darling husband with me. Now, shucks, you've always been good at making me blush. This thing settled down, Wethra, what do you say? The two of us do some traveling. <laughs> Sounds nice tonight. Let's think of a place to go to together. You got it. Okay. Thanks for bringing me what I asked for. Here's something for you. Oh, and got a mic crystal. Singular. Okay. Oh, and it also restores your energy bar. <laughs> Honey, what about Seaside Vip? Stupid. I hear like Holly is lovely, too. Here, there's no need to decide now. We've got all the time in the world to mull it over. Cute. Okay. Domestic tranquility. And that's done. The elderly man was disappointed that the flying plant he saw was actually a monster. However, his wife showed up to boost his spirits. Huh. 
So, are they back in that house then, or what? Either way, we have some idea of what to do next and where to go next. It's nice. Can we get up top here, even? It's gotta be a snow mountain. For that brazier's heat. Thanks for helping me out earlier. My wife and I are gonna give some good thought to where we're going on our trip. Seaside Village or Lake Highway? I can't decide which I'd rather villain. So many places I want to go with my dearie. Okay. So we can go to that teleport waypoint and that'll be good for the end. A decent amount of things were accomplished. Mm -hmm. Just get around there. This is oh, Zelda wanted poster. Wanted Princess Zelda if Sadid send word to the King of Hyrule. Youch. There is the house. So here's our waypoint. And there we go. Actually, they're pretty close to each other. This waypoint has been recorded. You can now warp here using the map. Okay. So there's the castle. What if we try to go in the castle now? I honestly want to see... Where I can go before actually progressing the quest line. I'll just avoid the desert for now. Well, they just block me off from the castle because, well, we're evil or what? The sanctuary is over here, which is. I'm surprised it went south instead of north at the start of the game because of that. Hmm. And. Just... This is the village. Would this be the Eastern Palaces? I wonder to what extent ordering is going to constrain things, but I believe this is Faron. This is Death Mountain. This would be Hebra. It's Woods. Should be Kakariko. Oh. Well, should be all for today. A decent amount was accomplished, so... I'm satisfied. So, let's go back to the title. What's the wrong button? Elden Ring messed me up. And, wait, did... Wait. Okay, so the autosave worked. Guess if you interact with that teleport waypoint, we'll get an autosave, which makes sense. So only two files per, per user. Eh. I'll just make more users, but whatever. So, there we go. Thank you, and... Sun Dragon.